Morning everyone, happy Sunday down in Los Cristianos, a lovely sunset behind. We're back in Tenerife, we're going to have a little bit of a walk, a little bit, big walk. Uh, and then we're also going to go for a curry as well. So thanks for joining us so far, we've got 220 tuned in. All good, are you ready for this? I've just realised how dark my eyes look. Yeah, they're pretty dark, <laughs> they're pretty dark eyes then. <laughs> Don't look that far at home, I've just seen it now, I literally look like a dress for Halloween, sorry guys. <laughs> Uh, so join us, we're going to go for a big long walk, we're going to go along Los Cristianos, uh, along the beachfront, we're going to go through Las Americas, we're going to go through Fania Bay, hopefully all the way to a decky if we can. Uh, we're going to see, see how far we get, see how quick we can walk. Uh, evening Craig, evening guys, not quite Florida but we'll have to do it indeed Tony. Uh, plenty of those vlogs coming up though. Look at that, I've got lovely sunset on my face. Let me just turn it around, show you the view, look at that for a gorgeous sunset there. Got the two ferries in, the Armus and the Fred Olsen. Oh, it's good to be back. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Hit the thumbs up on your way in. If you're watching on Catch Up, welcome. We're going to get to see just how busy it is at the moment. We've not been too far. I came into town yesterday to get my hair cut and I thought it was still fairly busy. Having said that, when we landed at the airport on Wednesday, it was dead, wasn't it? Yeah, and the flight was only half full. So it'll be interesting to see. The cars are still pretty busy, so it's hard for me to tell. Uh, hi, you're from Foggy Liverpool. Uh, hi, Andrew and Laura and everyone on the chat. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Andrew and Laura. Hi, David. Great to see you both again. Glad you're back. Hi, Amy. Okay, so we're going to get a move on, though. We are going to power walk, otherwise we will be eating Indian at about 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, sorry I missed you whilst I was over. Oh, so sorry about that, Diane. I'm sure next time you're over, you'll catch us. But yeah, made up, we got a break. Made up, especially with all this uncertainty now. Made up, we went when we did. Yeah. People playing Kaplunk or whatever you call it. I can never, ever remember the name over there. What is it? It's not Kaplunk. It's... Not it's... Kaplunk. Kaplunk's not like in <laughs> I always think of Kaplunk. It's, is it bulls? Oh, I don't yeah. know. We have this discussion every time. I know, I always forget. Welcome back. Thanks very much for Tank. There you go. That's it, Susan. Oh, I see. Think you're tank. Yeah, yeah, just get confused. It is quite cool. I'm just in a t shirt at the moment. I've got my new t shirt on that my sister got me for uh, Christmas, which is nice. Little penguin one with the little doodar on the pocket and I think once the sun goes down I will have to put that little jumper on I've bought it does go a little bit cooler once the sun goes down but I'm pretty comfortable now especially walking I will stay nice and warm uh, evening Gary got a wee glimpse of the Costamar you did indeed I'll try and turn it round in a minute uh, people were always asking where they can get their locator forms done and I found it really hard explaining where this is, but this one here, store by the shore, is where you can get that done. I'd forgotten what he charges, it's not much, but he will do the forms for you, print them off, everything like that. But that is where he is, just down on the front there. Paula Williams, my niece and her boyfriend arrived in Tenerife, uh, keeping a look out for her in the background. Uh, AJ, did the pets go mad when you got home? Uh, not too bad. I missed Rio coming home because I was in work. Oh, we went mad for me. You yeah, went we mad for Laura. <laughs> Here you go, a bit Laura's earring out. <laughs> Licked it off. Give me kisses they were happy. Yeah. They were happy. Cat took a little while to settle, but he's settled again now. I think he was just a bit confused. Yeah. Hmm, bit of a party going on in there. Never, uh, never heard anything going on in that one. Oh well. Bit of a party. Interesting. Tottenham 2, Liverpool 2. Come on the Spurs. <laughs> so what have we all been up to as well today? Do drop your comments. I like to know if anyone's done anything interesting at all. Drop your comments. Oh, your dad's on. Hi, are you okay? Um, Colin says, hello, Laura. Hi, Dad. Oh. Hi, Dad. 
Cheers there, Colin. <laughs> Ollie's here. <laughs> Hiding. Uh, Anne Elton, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, Merry Christmas to you both and all the Striders. Love from us both. Thank you very much, uh, Anne and David. Much appreciated. I uh, hope you're both well and not too cold over in Ireland. And I hope your rates aren't too bad either. But I'd say overall, so far, looks all right down here. Plenty of people out and about. You never know what to expect because you read all this stuff on Facebook about cancellations and things and you never really know how much effect it has. Can you both give a shout out to Stuart and Penny coming out on the 29th Super? Have a great time. Uh, Sharon is nursing a hangover. Ooh. Oh dear, what were you drinking Sharon? <laughs> yeah, a lot of work, Christmas parties going on. Uh, lovely to have you both back in Tenerife. Your vlogs from Florida were fantastic. Not even really started the Florida vlogs yet. There's loads to come. Uh, those lives were just a couple of little bonus things. The main edited vlogs are still due to come. A lot of editing for me to do on my new phone. Quite a few people in the restaurants, yeah. I think it's uh, pretty steady. I'm not seeing any dramatic decline anyway. Some beds are all still pretty much the same. Hi Tom Kemp. Went to a lovely Christmas wedding yesterday. Oh nice. Christmas themed. A lot must be locals, I don't think so. I mean I'm still busy with the cars but I must say a lot of the clients for the cars are Europeans, German, Swedish, etc. I've not really had that many Brits. Yeah, so I think we've got a lot of other European tourists at the moment. It's interesting to see. We'll see how we get further on uh, into Las Americas and Adeki. It's not really too much of a local place, that. It's a lot more touristy, Las Americas and Adeki, in my opinion, so we'll see. That's a shame, that little shop thing has gone. Used to sell little sort of stuff you could take home and things. Look, it's been left to go to Rack and Ruin there. Uh, Velocity Coaster or Hagrid's Velocity Coaster Craig, simply because couldn't get on Hagrid's. I've done it before and it's great, but couldn't get on it. It's just too long of a wait. Velocity Coaster for sure. Velocity Coaster where could it goes upside down? That's yeah. half the ride, you're upside down. There's a lot of upside downs in Velocity Coaster. Still looking quite busy, I agree. I agree. Do let me know your thoughts as we move along. We're only just getting started here. There's a long walk ahead. Hello, both love you. See you back doing your thing. Where are you going to eat? It's going to be Tandoori Hut. Gotta be. We are craving an Indian. That's the one thing Florida doesn't have is a good Indian. And I had an Indian in the UK, which I vlogged. You'll see that coming up probably this week. And it was not great. So we're craving a good Indian. We did have a takeaway from Tandoori Hut the night we got back. <laughs> um, but we're going to go for another one. Just love our Indians. I know in Florida, one Indian was better. One Indian in Florida, and we've tried it a couple of times, and it's just, it's just not. They just don't really get it in America, the Indian thing. Plenty of volleyball and stuff going on. I don't know if there's a tournament coming up. I've not seen these yellow. Are they yellow or green? I've not seen them before. Did you get your gold bag? She did indeed, Diane. You'll see that in one of see that in a vlog. Everything we've done is all uh, on vlogs. It's just editing them and getting them up. My mum works in Ask Italian and she said, you've been there? Yes, I have. Again, I've vlogged that as well. That was lovely. That was one of our family's best Italians we've ever had that. Loved it in there. And uh, your mum and the service was fantastic as well, I must say. But yeah, that's vlogged. That won't be up for a couple of weeks though. But yeah, we loved it in there. It was really nice. Yeah, 
she's she's so worth it talking about your bag that bag caused quite a stir in the old facebook group didn't it <laughs> uh, coming out boxing day staying at the hard rock be nice probably be quite busy but sure that'll be good seems like ages since we've been to uh, hard rock How's the weather right now? It's been not the best today. It was lashing down in the middle of the night. Had a bit of drizzle this morning. Then it's been overcast on and off all day. But temperature wise, I'm just in a t-shirt, shorts, wandering along. It's pretty comfortable. But once it goes dark, then we'll need to put jumpers on. Um, so we'll see, see what happens there. Hey, still see the sunset nicely up there as well. Let me turn this around. Oh, bubbles, Laura. Lots of bubbles. Mum loves this. <laughs> it's quite nice with the sunset behind, actually. Still better than Scotland. It is. It's very comfortable. Cannot complain. Although we did enjoy the cold for a few days, didn't we? Wearing jackets and things. Yeah, it's nice to be in the cold and being out to your breath and stuff. We enjoyed that, didn't we? Yeah. Only for a couple of days. A couple of days, it's a nice change, wearing a coat and mixing it up a little bit. Uh, we've got 634 tuned in. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Please do hit the thumbs up uh, if you can. It does help uh, boost the video. Uh, if you are wondering about the current rules, etc., I have put up uh, this week two news update videos including one this afternoon uh, that runs through basically what's happening over here at the moment the rates which are quite high etc that is all explained in that news update video that went up this afternoon so if you haven't seen that check that one out and we're only not even a quarter of a way into our epic walk so far <laughs> that one looks quite nice nice new hairdressers open i don't know whether they've rebranded it or it's new Nice and modern. I want a bubble machine from <laughs> Looks like Laura's looks like Princess Leia, Laura's hair. Come up to the chill out. Quiet in there, but it probably will pick up a little bit later on. So I'm going to ask you guys, as this sun goes down and we watch the final little bit of a sunset, which area do you think is going to be the quietest? Is it going to be Los Cristianos? Is it going to be Las Americas? Is it going to be a decky? Or is it all going to be busy? be interesting to find out. Look at that for a gorgeous sunset there. I'm going to put you down as well, so it's nice and still. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. Four more days until Tenerife. Stunning sunset yet. Yeah, not long until you can enjoy some of these sunsets yourselves. Got the nice smell of the fresh sea air. Diane Harrison, have a Midori Sours on me. Merry Christmas to you both. Thank you very much, Diane. Uh, we are going to be going back to Havana's very soon because they've started doing their food again. Uh, they haven't done it for a couple of years, but they've started doing their, their food and snack menu and burger menu again. So we'll be going back to show you guys that. Um, so thank you very much, Diane. We will uh, enjoy one when we go back there or we'll enjoy something a little bit later on. We've got to get cracking with the walk at this point. I'm going to let you enjoy that sunset. Uh, can you say hello to my mum, Gillian, and my dad, Tony? They're your biggest fan. Hi, Jade, and hi, Gillian and Tony. Thank you very much. Tracy thinks a decky will be the quietest. It is a gorgeous sunset, that. It's coming out lovely on the camera as well. No filters or anything. And if you want a bit of behind the scenes, I'm just having a drink of Gatorade. <laughs> is the breeze in open? I believe it is, but we'll have a quick look as we go past. Ah, oh, the tunnel's been repainted. I didn't know that, David. I think this end hasn't. It looks quite faded on this outside wall. I'll show you in a mo moment, but 
Ah, right, I think you mean inside the tunnel right now. You've said it, I can see that. They got rid of all the, graf all the graffiti, yeah. I didn't know that. Look at that, sun's gone and it's still a gorgeous sky. Oh, you could paint that. Just give Laura my, uh, Laura's the little bottle holder for now. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Assistant Laura. Uh, the plane was low. I think they're taking off in this direction today. So you'll probably see some of the planes this end that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, they've been taken off. The wind's been a different direction today. Uh, Los Gigantes is very quiet. I had a client who got the bus from Los Gigantes to pick up a car from me yesterday. And he said it's, it's lovely, really nice, but very quiet. Very quiet. I mean, it's not particularly mental busy anyway even during normal times but especially now particularly quiet but love the area i noticed the tunnel had been painted in another vlog that's nice bit of an improvement shame it the problem is though they'll just come and do it again when they paint it white they'll just come and do it again in no time can't wait to see sunsets like that in 10 days won't be long. 710 tuned in now. Thank you all very much. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe if you're new. You have to be subscribed to the channel to comment in the chat if you've got any questions for us or any information. Uh, the breeze in, someone was asking. It's closed. I don't know whether that's just tonight or not, but it's closed up there. Can smell the curry. We're a while away from the curry yet, John. Got to get all the way to a decky yet. Best get motor in, Laura. <laughs> We're a long way off. Laura may rebel just like Princess Leia. <laughs> oh, talking of Star Wars, get me back on that ride. Buena Gente, I've not seen that before either. I mean, you go away for a couple of weeks and all these things start changing. Never seen that before up there. Uh, I've never noticed that. Let me know, was that there or is it new? <laughs> you can go away for a couple of weeks, everything looks new. Are you doing a live blog on Christmas Day? I am, it's already scheduled. It's already scheduled on the channel. Seven o'clock Christmas Day, we will be live. Yeah. Towners, not seen that before. That looks new. Is that like a West Ham bar, is it? Looks West Ham. It's West Ham colours. Doodars, busy up there. Uh, see, everything changes when you go away. Breeze in is closed for Christmas. Back open again, first to Jan. Thanks for the info, David. Havana's up there, open. Sun Lounge open as well, next door. They're both pretty nice for cocktails. We love our Midori Sours in Havana's, but at the moment, no time to stop. We've got to get uh, cracking with this walk. <laughs> Laura tried in there with your mum and dad, didn't you? Said it was nice. The ice cream and cakes and things look amazing in there. Ah. The ice creams look pretty good in there. Any idea what happens if you test positive to come back to the UK? So you would have to stay in the accommodation that you're in. Uh, hopefully that would be legal accommodation, in which case you are covered. So you would have to stay there and quarantine for 10 days what and then is, get your flight you back. Yeah, you get given a phone number, you have to go back to your hotel, you call that number and they basically sort everything out. You can call your private insurance as well and they can sort out your flights, etc. Uh, some people have been being based for the cost of like supermarket food shopping and things as well. Yeah, if you're self catering, but you're, but you're legal self catering with a rental receipt, etc., and it's a registered accommodation, um, you can claim from your own insurance, your private insurance for costs, you know, food, etc. Mm. 
Oh, that sea breeze is nice and cool. It'll be jacket time soon. As soon as the sun goes down, it'll be time for a jacket. Amazing sunset, nice to have a Sunday walk. It is, we need the exercise. Eating far too much in America. So uh, we need to stretch the legs. Due to fly out tomorrow, but had to change to Mexico due to our teenager not being double vaccinated. First time in 10 years, that's a shame. I, I mentioned in my news update today, I do think they should change it to a negative test rather than double vaccinated or move the double vaccinated to over 18. Well, that's just my opinion. Oh. Got 300 thumbs up now, hit that thumbs up button. We uh, do appreciate it. What tier is Grand Canarian? It's the same as us, level three. Level three. But our, our numbers are double that of Gran Canaria. We've got double the amount of cases. Tenerife's got all the worst stats, basically. But I'm not going to talk about all of them now because I did do a news update video this afternoon. So if you want to find out, check out that video. I talked about everything like that. But this one, it's just going to be a nice live walk. We're going to have a bit of fun. And see, basically, how busy things are. No, it's normally this this week coming up to Christmas is normally full right now. Yeah. So it is quieter. Would you say it's quieter than when we left, Laura? Yeah. At the end of November? Yeah. Yeah, it just seems to be. It's getting quieter in this section. Sun King, etc. is normally well full by yeah. now. But I was saying when we cancelled our test out to Florida, I can see why people aren't going on holiday. Oh, yeah, it's a nightmare. I mean, me and Laura are pretty clued up. And even we struggled with it all it is it is head battering so i can see you've got kids you know see your kids and then you're worried that it's going to change the kids when we start to see it or whatever yeah i can see why but, but if you don't book you're never going to go anywhere you know exactly. you've got a hope, haven't you? yeah at some point you're going to make the jump and thankfully our tests for coming back to england were free in america completely free and it was subsidised by the US government, which I think Spanish government should do the same. You've got people coming over, spending money, subsidising the cost of a... What's it cost them? Five euros? Ah, uh, but then they subsidise and yeah, if you get COVID whilst you're out there. Probably not. You but go. you just have your COVID cover, don't you? It's tricky. It's tricky. But coming up to Safari Centre now, it's going to be all lit up nice for Christmas. This, this time of year, it's normally you can't even walk the street. Yeah, it's normally... It is a bit early though tonight, isn't it, than we were last time. Yeah. See what it's like down here. They've got a nice Christmas tree. Does look nice. Doesn't quite come out that well on camera. Got another new restaurant up there as well, the Wok Buffet. Never tried that before. Could be worth a try one time. Oh, it's nice and festive down here. See you in June 2022. Hope, hope we will be able to come. I hope so. Hope so. That's nice. Nice and bright. Got another one further down as well. This is our fourth attempt to come over and really hoping we can come on Wednesday. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Got to stay positive. you out on third of jan in two minds go for it billy go for it if you don't go for it at some point you'll never come <laughs> i'd go for it you can stay safe etc here the only thing i can see them bringing in is um a, a negative test from brits when you enter as well as being vaccinated we're just gonna have to see france have done it germany's done it we'll have to wait and see Fingers crossed for May. 
Yeah, Five of us yeah. went to Vegas Grill on your recommendation twice. Brilliant. Everyone loves it up there. Everyone who goes absolutely loves it. Looking forward to going back at some point. Get me steak. Everyone raves about American steak, but the steak in there is Argentinian meat. You can't beat the Argentinian meat. Even in America, the steak's very nice. But all the steaks here are Argentinian. The meat is Argentinian and it is really, really good. Uh, current exchange rate, I think I've just walked past one that was 114. You probably get 115 somewhere. So not bad, it's not really moved too much. Why is Santa here? He should be working. Where is he? Oh yeah. Should be working. <laughs> he, knew, he knew we were live. <laughs> 840 tuned in now please do hit the uh the thumbs up hit the subscribe if you're new as well there's loads coming up on the channel definitely give it a go sharon love it in there i don't know anyone who's not enjoyed it it's the same as tandoori hut everyone who goes seems to really like it i do ask people after they've been and they all say it's spot on so definitely worth a try evening kev how's it going why is Garvey not in Tenerife for Christmas? He's back home. He's um, currently working hard and we've also got my little nephew. So mum and uh, dad are at home for his first Christmas, etc. So they are coming in February, but not over Christmas. They don't normally come out for Christmas anyway. My mum loves Christmas at home, so it doesn't normally happen. I don't know if Santa's drunk there or what. <laughs> There's two Santas. <laughs> there you go. Get a little sweetie off Santa. I do like them Christmas trees made of the uh, baubles going up. Now it'll be interesting to see how busy the fountain is because when I was last here it was pretty busy. Get to take in the nice Christmassy atmosphere. Oh, watches. I'm always drawn in by the watches. Hmm. Which one have you got me for Christmas, Laura? Most expensive one. I've got you an AP. An AP, all right, I'll take that then. I know you like an AP, so I've got <laughs> one. <laughs> there you go, got an order Mars PK on the way. <laughs> Courtney Walsh, thank you very much. Not seen you on the channel for a while. I hope you're well. Uh, have a nice drink on me. Thank you very much. We will be stopping a little bit later on. We've got to get cracking with this walk. Uh, but thank you very much. I hope you are well. Uh, not seen you on the chat for a couple of weeks uh, let's see what mad santa hope you got your gifts via your dad when you popped home i did thank you very much oh, fiona you. much appreciated so that's the villain's eye palette fiona there you go i put it on tonight so yeah thank you very much i love it and, and i'll spot it with my, my mum she loved it as well there you so go thank you very much thank you very much some of you have dropped some amazing gifts and things Thank you all very, very much. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Um, evening to the moderators. Yeah, that's AJ and Kev are on. Sky Sports Golf right now, I know, PNC. Are, are Woods and Charlie still, well, Tiger and Charlie still leading or joint leading? I'd love them to win it. Love them. He's going to be some player, I tell you that. Fountain, quiet. Very, very nice, but very quiet, yeah. I'd say. Right, got a long way to go. Got to keep walking. We're half an hour in already. Only just at the safari centre. We didn't even walk fast. You said you thought we were scared from Arsenal. Not, not fast enough, Laura. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. 
everyone's gonna have to support Laura and get. I've even made her wear trainers tonight, <laughs> so you can walk faster. Uh, do I like smart watches? I like the idea of them, but I did get the very original Apple Watch when they first came out. And I think I wore it twice and then sold it. Just couldn't get on with it. There's nothing I'd really want to do on it. I like the idea of it. And I love, like, when other people are wearing them, I'm like, oh, I'd like that. But I don't like them enough to buy one. I don't think I'd actually use it. But I like the look of them. They are quite smart to look at. Pardon the pun. <laughs> getting dark. Yeah, it probably will pick up now. People coming off the beaches, etc. getting ready. I'm getting that smell of different aftershaves, are you? You always get that different smell of aftershave and perfume, people going out for the night. Have you met Chris Kamara? I met him quite a few years ago on holiday. Uh, I think I got a picture with him years ago at, um, was it overseas? Yeah, overseas Chinese in Lost Chris. What time have you booked your meal for? I've just said we, we'll be there roughly half seven, eight. Just, I don't know what time we're going to get there with this walk. We shall see what happens. Laura having a full workout, <laughs> mind the trees. Woods are one shot behind, that's a shame. Love them to win it. Just made up the plane again, I think, really. I was there three days ago, back home now. That's the worst feeling, isn't it? We see Florida stuff now and we're like, we were there a week ago. You keep doing all that a week ago now. We were doing this and this. Yeah. <laughs> and this time last week, we were doing that. Yeah, you get you tease yourself with all of that. My mum hates six. I'm like, mum, this time last week we were doing this, this, and this. Drives my mum mad because <laughs> I do it for weeks as well. I'm like, three weeks ago now. <laughs> Did you ever do a vlog at the mini golf? I didn't. Um, I don't think so. Did I? You and your family went the mini golf, didn't you? Yeah, I don't think I vlog. No, I didn't vlog it. I didn't vlog it. I just played and had fun. I didn't vlog that one. Uh, can't remember what you were doing. Can't remember. Yeah, this time last year was much quieter, to be fair. So I suppose we can't complain too much. Because last year was just like a ghost town. So it's much better than last year. But it could have been so much more. Could have been. I don't think we were careful enough, quick enough. Need to get Laura some wheels. <laughs> Roller blades, Laura, for Christmas, well, someone said. Just sit on. We'll be behind you. Hi, Amber Life. How was your Florida holiday? Absolutely amazing. Loved it. We had a great time. There's loads of vlogs to come out from that. We had quite a few days in England as well. Vlogged every day there uh, with mum and dad and stuff. So plenty on the way on the channel over the next few weeks. It's going to be a good few weeks worth of vlogs. Mixed in with bits of Tenerife as well, of course. I'll keep, to, keep you up to date on what is going on over here. That's a nice, I'm still pretty comfortable in just a t-shirt. Yeah, I'm comfortable. Yeah. My skirt and t-shirt. Get Laura a segue. <laughs> because I'd love, you, they used to do, my dad did them with his friends. They used to do segways, segway tours in Tenerife and then they got banned. But they did used to do them, used to be able to go along from Las Americas. But uh, they got banned from the promenade. Can't wait for your next day back at home, Andrew. Get it edited. It's edited. It's ready. I think it's going up on the channel tomorrow at half six. And includes a trip to uh, Garvey, the dentist. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, Laura had to wait in the other room. She couldn't handle it. <laughs> Do 
Will you be uploading a new vlog? Not every single day, no, because they do take a long time to edit. They're longer vlogs. You're looking at least 30 minutes to an hour vlogs. Um, it's a vlog of like a whole day. So they are long. Uh, uploading in 4K now as well. If any of you haven't noticed, all the videos coming up on the channel will now be in 4K standard, uh, which is great. However, they do take longer to upload and save and render. So again, that also being a slight delay on things, getting that 4K does mean they take a longer time to be prepared, especially if they're an hour long. An hour long in 4K will take a good while to uh, upload, etc. But yes, we are now up to 4K standard. And if you, if you play on some of the videos and they're not in 4K, you can click the little three buttons or the settings and change the settings to a higher quality. So a lot of the time we, we watch Florida vlogs and we're only watching them in, in HD yeah. because you forget to click the little dots and change it to 4K. So uh, just bear that in mind, Some of the, sometimes it won't just automatically come up in 4K. You have to change the settings on your telly or your screen. Yeah, sometimes it does depend on, on your internet speed. It might not be able to keep up with the 4K. Uh, it's something to bear in mind. Oh, it's going dark, but it does look very nice. Remember being here, Laura, over three weeks ago? We were here doing our little last live before we dove off to the airport. It was a good live that as well, I really enjoyed that. Went to Liverpool a couple of weeks ago and ended up going to the Everton Arsenal game, loved it. My other half had a Scouse pie, my sister loves the Scouse pies. Said it was the best pie he'd ever had. Love the Scouse pies, uh, my sister loves them as well. Uh, nearly a thousand viewers, please guys, hit the thumbs up if you haven't really does help boost the video and if you are new to the channel as well uh, hit the subscribe button it's completely free and there's uh, various live streams videos news updates all kinds on the channel laura we're gonna get all the way over there right. if you don't I'll look at it you'll feel like you're walking faster i'll park people <laughs> and you go and it's, it's been strategically planned though because we've got a, a car parked right outside tandoori hut yeah. ready to drive home in so we did plan all this today. Yeah, the live is only going to be 720. You can't get 4K on a live stream, especially with Tenerife's internet speed. Uh, in Florida, I managed to get maybe 1080p at some points with their internet speed coming through. But with Tenerife's 4G, 720 is the best you're going to get. But for the edited vlogs, they will be in 4K. It's all down to Tenerife's 3G, 4G speed. When I did the lives in Florida, we were on 5G, much quicker speeds, which means it can handle HD. Unfortunately, Tenerife hasn't quite got that sort of infrastructure. <laughs> you see all the sea spray, because it's quite wavy. I don't know if you can see, it looks sort of misty. That's actually sea spray. It smells lovely. Yeah, you can smell the salty, salty air. Well, I must say, definitely quieter for a Sunday. I mean, this place is normally busting. Definitely quieter, which is a shame. But it could pick up next week. Who knows? The cars definitely pick up next week. I've got a couple back at the moment, but I've got nothing left over Christmas. And lots of people emailing me for cars over Christmas that I haven't got. So it must definitely going to pick up over Christmas itself, for sure. Can't wait for the sangria. Where is Tandoori Hut? It's in um, Las Americas. Not too far from here. By the patch, yeah. Not too far from here. It's just on the back road over there. But we're going to walk past it and try and go a little bit further. Even if we just make it to Fania Bailey, we'll see how we get on. Is the Palmer still erupting? Still nothing really going on in the Palmer right now. It's still died right down so fingers crossed it stays that way and it's finished i think it's, it's been three four five consecutive days now of nothing really? yeah it's still letting off ash and you know yeah. there's still lava coming out but it's not actually erupting and rumbling and all of that so it does seem to have stopped 
hopefully. Thanks for the car hire last week. It was fantastic and have left you a great review on Facebook. Thank you very much, Jason. I'm uh, glad you had a good time. I presume you dealt with Lisa, who was brilliant while I was away. Uh, but thank you very much. Glad you had a good time. Stop off for some cheeky nuggets now. That'll ruin my appetite, cheeky nuggets. <laughs> and I've, we have saved myself. I'm looking forward to that cheese naan. Oh, that nice gooey cheese in the middle of the naan bread. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to that. Gotta say as well, I've not really heard any other English accents. Have you? What? Heard many English accents? No. No, hearing a lot of various different European accents. Uh, but not really heard many English as we're walking along. Last week I left after 24 amazing days. Very nice. Anya. Is Sonasty Cars under Vicky 2? Yes, it is. Where are you heading to have your dinner? We're heading to uh, Tandoori Hut in Last America's Courtney. Going to enjoy a curry. We're uh, craving our curry quite badly after three weeks of no curry. <laughs> if you could transport, transport our curry to, to Florida... Oh would yeah, be... we'd love to have a nice Indian one night in Florida, but they're just not into their Indians. They're not big on the Indian food. Another vote for Peshwari naan. No, I don't do Peshwari. No, and I go get the cheese. Cheese naan. I don't do coconut now. Cheese is, oh yeah. That white Indian gooey cheese. Oh, dipped in the, dipped in the butter chicken sauce. You're killing me. <laughs> My mouth's watering now. My mouth is watering. Here's where we were a few weeks ago. Aroma Cafe. Do nice coffee in there and you get a nice sea view as well. Yeah, it seems to be getting quieter as we're going further and further in to Las Americas. It's a different kind. They just don't really have them, Tom. They just don't really do, don't have Indian restaurants. Really? They've got like one in the tourist area but we've tried it before and it wasn't no and they've not got it i think the brits love going over and having burgers and things so even the brits that go over that love curries don't go into indian restaurants enough for them to open or stay open do you prefer indian or chinese oh that's the that's the big question isn't it it's hard to tell i'm just going to quickly show you as well they have finished pedestrianizing this road here next to the sax bar not long from opening now it is as i said it was going to be all the parking has gone and it's just a one up one way down street now which is what i thought it was going to be so we've lost a lot of parking in this area so if you stay around here you've got even less parking now although it does look very very nice and the walkway was very narrow so pedestrian wise it looks uh, much better they have done it very nice. You've got benches to sit on. A lot more room to move around up there once these uh, fences are gone. Just thought I'd point that out. But the only downside is less parking. Did you enjoy your holiday in America? Don't think you've mentioned it. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. People keep asking me questions though, so I keep answering them. Uh, I only just noticed your live. Thanks so much for joining, Shane. Hit the thumbs up on the way in. It was a play on words with the ah, with the Native Americans. I'm with you. I miss these things sometimes. I think we're gonna have to pick up the pace, Laura. Have you got Have you got a fourth gear, fifth gear in you? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll have some juice and I'll. Uh, Pass you the camera for a second. Oh, me, guys. Ooh, Colin likes a keema naan. Oh, the keema's with the mint, isn't it? Yeah. Is that with the mint or the, or the meat? That's mint. That's more about meat. 
Which is the norm with the beast in the middle? I think that's a keema. Yes, it's the mark. Yeah, you, so you're saying mint. Mint? Uh, As in mint beast? Mint? No, mint beast. Yeah, I think it is the same one, isn't it, Dad? Cheese naan, or sometimes if I'm in the mood, garlic and cheese naan. Oh, yeah, it works oh. so well. <laughs> I would just be happy to be able to have a normal naan. Oh, they smell amazing. Hey, I got you. I picked you up a gluten-free naan and brought and it back I with us to. from Asda. I know. Okay, I'll take it back. How was the view, guys? Were you just looking at the sky a lot of the time? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't too bad. It was just wonky. How are Rio and Felix? All good. Thank you very much. Still Bombay potatoes. Oh yeah, I do like Bombay potatoes. Happy birthday to my hubby Pete, who is a big fan of yours. Happy birthday, Pete. Hope you're having a great day. We've got over a thousand people watching now. Please do hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty coming up on the channel. Been working hard this week, just learning a few new things, how to upload in 4K. Uh, we're now gonna be doing different thumbnail designs, uh, which are gonna be in keeping with the brand. So you'll notice that the writing on the thumbnails is actually our branding which is the same branding font and text that is on the t-shirt, that is on the website. So everything is all pretty linked in now. See, so yeah, I've been working hard on extra little bits. Try and keep the channel progressing. Please ask Laura which disinfectant fragrances she would like. That's from Neil Saul. Oh, I do like a pine. Can't beat a pine. We like the, the one we got, the candy, what was it? We got, we got the bubble gum one. The bubble gum, one, bubble gum one was very nice. They were both nice. Sherbet lemon was also pretty good. They lasted a long time. Love a pine and we love like an oceany, oh, yeah, oceany. ocean tropical Sword sort of thing. <laughs> Please drop us off for a covey. Self-isolating in that's America. So, oh no, Casey. There are worse places. Aye, worse places to isolate. You really see that. I don't know if it comes out on the camera. You can really see it looks like fog and mist. It's actually the sea spray. That's all salty sea air up there. Should do some nasty stickers for the UK. Working on a few things with merchandise. We are quite limited with Redbubble. So we are, we're working on a few things. Whether they come off or not, I'm not sure. Deep blue, that looks pretty closed up for good, that. The menu's gone off. That looks pretty uh, closed up there. Bill Barclay, thank you very much. We love the Florida vlogs and lives. Pam and I are looking forward to March uh, when we are back at Paloma Beach. Have a couple of cocktails on us. Thank you very much, Bill. Really appreciate it. Uh, Paloma Beach, all good over there from what I hear. No one's had any issues. Nice apartments. And hopefully by March time, all of this madness will have calmed down a little bit. And you can see the waves crashing in there. Okay, I'm going to keep marching. Got to switch up the gears now. Not in Florida anymore, Laura. <laughs> in Florida, we just sort of wander around. No work to get to or anything. It was great. Head towards now you can decide are we going to go up onto the back of veronica's and see what's going on on the veronica's strip or are you going to stay on the front along the beachfront let me know we're coming up to the fork in the walkway now so we can either stay left and stay along the beach or we can go right and see what's going on along the clubs and bars on veronica's susan says stay on the beachfront well done, Susan. You got your answer in nice and quickly. Here comes the fork. Keep left. Sound like a sat nav there, Eddie. Keep left. <laughs> Stay the left two legs. Okay, we're staying on the beachfront. To be fair, there's not much on Veronica's at this hour anyway. There's not much to see. It doesn't really get going until later on. Mm. So I remember the last few lives we walked along here, I remember, if I remember rightly, all of these tables would be full. 
these prime sea view seats having said that we must remember as well the weather has been pretty poor today yeah. so whether people have just decided not to come out or they've eaten at the hotel or eaten early the weather is not the nicest so probably have to bear that in mind really a lot of people have probably just stayed in or they're saving themselves for christmas yeah i suppose a lot of residents will be saving themselves yeah. for christmas have they definitely I think you dropped your mask. Oh, <laughs> no problem. Lady just dropped her mask there. Still warm, yeah, lovely. I thought I'd need my jumper by now, but I don't. No, no. It's I mean, just getting warmer as we walk. We're walking pretty fast, bit of a power walk on. Yep. Yeah. Gotta make room for that cheese naan. <laughs> no fall tonight, Chris. We are gonna try a couple of uh, different dishes though. A couple of sizzling plates, I think. Show you some different things on the menu. We're creatures of habit, but I do want to showcase some of the different bits and bobs on the menu. Let's uh, stay up and walk along here. Got to start taking shortcuts now. <laughs> Usually quiet the week before Christmas and New Year. Yeah, so maybe we're just expecting it to be too busy too early. I don't know, because last year when I was before COVID, I was in work, it was mental, just the, the week before Christmas. Yeah. Living changes galore and everything. If anyone's wondering, Laura doesn't miss her cleaning job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the weather apps have been saying the weather is poor over there. When it's 20 plus degrees daytime over there, scare tactic to put people off traveling. It's not been great today, but every other day has been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been absolutely beautiful. I was shocked when I woke up to hear the rain last night. Yeah, waking up in the middle of the night to I the rain. I was really confused. You thought you were in England or something, I was didn't like, you? Am I in England? Am I in Florida? Am I in the villa? Am I in the condo? Where am I? I just couldn't place where I was. <laughs> Hi, Nank Schneider. Did you enjoy living in Tenerife? Do you enjoy living in Tenerife? Sorry. Uh, and you speak any Spanish? A little bit of Spanish, still learning. Uh, Tony with uh, Lingoda. And do you enjoy living in Tenerife? I do. Would I be here forever? Probably not, in my honest opinion. Once I'm a millionaire, I'm travelling the world. I'm not going to have a so home I, Laura, travel. Laura's becoming a millionaire out of nowhere, yeah. so we're all good. Next time tomorrow, <laughs> Del Boy, I'll be a millionaire. You need to play the Spanish lottery. It's the biggest in the world. I know, but I don't know how to. Somebody needs to show me how to play it, because I would play it. It's like 25 quid, isn't it? Yeah, it's not cheap, the Christmas one. It's the biggest one of the year. Three degrees in Glasgow. Ouch, cold. I don't feel like we're getting anywhere. No. <laughs> I'm walking as quick as we can. I don't feel like we're actually getting anywhere. I feel like my, my brain's telling my legs to move quicker than my legs will go. <laughs> El Gordo, that's it, Tony, Tom. You got it, El Gordo. I always forget the name. So Laura wants to know how do you play the El Gordo? I know, and how do you get the results? Because Laura's going to win. I mean, she just, she you know, it's just an instant, you know. And then Laura gets in a mood when she doesn't win. I do. That's I the won. best bit. That's why I don't, why I don't <laughs> play the bingo. That's why I don't play the lottery. That's why I don't gamble. Because I just get moody and I just think that was money could spent on myself. <laughs> Instead, some lucky sod has got it somewhere else. Hi Epic Phil, International Drive, is it busy there? It looks busy from what I've seen. It, will be now, it yeah. was getting really busy when we left. Americans aren't scared of COVID, are they? No, <laughs> you're on Florida time. I've done all right, I've done well with the jet lag. I think my oh, legs are just, on. my legs are just tired. Legs just aren't moving. Hi Miko. No, this doesn't help. There's a bit of a hill here, so once we're over this hill, we'll uh, motor on then. You got Palm Beach Club there. Looks very quiet. Only handful of lights on in there. Doesn't look particularly busy. What's the process over there if you test positive? Mentioned this before, Craig. You would, um, as long as you're in legal accommodation. 
you'd stay in the accommodation that you're in. They give you a few phone numbers to call. Uh, they get in touch with you and offer you oxygen, etc., if you need it. And that's basically it. Then you would claim from your own insurance um, for the flights. You can claim for car hire. You can claim for food on your private insurance. But your accommodation and things like that are uh, covered. From what I believe, unless things have changed. You've got yourself a nice apartment and you catch COVID. You get a nice extra 10 days holiday for nothing. 10 days holiday in an apartment. For you nothing. can't move. <laughs> hey listen, some people like to stay in their balcony all day every day and just cook inside the house so some people have to meet. Tell Laura to buy a lottery ticket. 25 euros Laura if you don't win. I'll be moody. 25 oh. euros. I know. That's like two coffee apple toffee apples that. It is. <laughs> I will be when it happens, don't we? But so I have to play it, so we go to play it. So we're in Las Americas right now, if you are just joining, and we're going to be carrying on around this bend up to Puerto Colón. Good time to walk along, see how busy restaurants and bars are, if they're open, closed, etc. Overall, it seems to be getting quieter the further we move in. Yeah. Going to watch the rest on catch-up. Thanks very much for watching. It is going to be a long one today, so uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you hit the thumbs up before you go. Colin says you can win the lottery and look after your dad. You might get that Ferrari that you wanted, Colin. <laughs> I've been asking for it since I can remember. <laughs> Self-isolating us to nasty car hire. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like they're finally going to do something with these shops that were made. This building is unsafe been closed for a few years but they've put this on maybe they're actually going to do something with it and fix it there's, a, there's like three or four units in there but it was uh, deemed unsafe a couple of years ago got a zoom meeting to attend see you soon thanks very much shane for tuning in we'll be on for a little while yet you can probably tune back in after your zoom call <laughs> will you be doing any different hotel reviews uh, potentially got one more lined up and then we'll have to wait and see. Bora Bora's busy. It's pretty full in there. Back open as well. It was closed for a little while, Bora Bora. It is nice and peaceful though, I must admit. The waves crashing, sea breeze. So you can just sit there with a cocktail with some nice, light music behind you listening to that book, yeah. Yeah, so this is a nice walk, this. Why are you going to pray to Cologne, Andrew, if you're eating at Tandoori Hut? Uh, the plan is we're going to walk all the way to potentially Fanya Bay and then back to Tandoori Hut. So, big long walk first, Mark, then Tandoori Hut. Uh, having our curry in Tandoori Hut in Las Americas. But we will be a little while yet. We're doing a little bit of a, more of a walk first. Got to earn the calories for the cheese naan. <laughs> so, question for you viewers now. Have you been to Tenerife recently? And if you have, how did you find it? Did you find it busy, quiet? Did you have fun? I'd like to see how many people have actually been recently as well. I know quite a few of you have. Have you done any hotel reviews? No hotel reviews. Uh, Paul in uh, Florida but some accommodation reviews we've done two lovely villas and also a lovely condo as well do a charity Christmas song next year Andrew and Laura release it Friday before Christmas for maximum impact <laughs> I don't think that would get to number one unfortunately 
I think so as well, Monica. Seems to be dropping off a lot now. Monica restaurant. Was that end of October? Gotta go. Edinburgh Airport in the morning to drop the brother-in-law off. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have you done a vlog travelling back from the UK? I have indeed. Yeah. Vlogged everything. All four flights have been vlogged. Since Henry 28th of November to the 12th of December, that's when we were away. Had a fantastic time. That's good. Just had five weeks, not so busy now. So yeah, people who've been here recently are noticing a drop off. Flew back home last Sunday after eight days. As long as you had fun, that's the main thing. Everyone seems to have loved it. We best wait for Laura, I don't know where she is. She's coming along now. Come on. I'm getting warm as well, because we're proper power walking now. Need those little roller shoes. <laughs> In Lost Chris three weeks ago, and it was l very lively in the bars and restaurants coming over on Boxing Day. Definitely busier in November than when they were here in August. Have you got a Christmas tree up yet? No. We put the tree up and it's still in the same position as when we filmed that vlog to reveal us going away. It's got no decorations on it. I think tomorrow we'll do it. Laura will do it tomorrow. I'll try and vlog it for you tomorrow. Laura finishing off the tree. Seems a bit windy for sitting out on the terrace. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. That might put a few people off coming out tonight, the weather. Staying in La Siesta Hotel as I was in January. Glad to be home. Um, yes and no. <laughs> it's always bittersweet, isn't it? Always bittersweet. No one's glad to be back after a holiday, are they? <laughs> but it could be worse. We have got 1,096 tuned in. Please do hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe as well, it's getting a little bit windier down here. Feel that breeze now. And if you are interested in all the current rules, etc., what's going on over here, COVID rates, etc., I did put up a news update video this afternoon. If you want to head and watch that, that'll give you an idea of the rates, uh, the current restrictions, etc. Here you go, Catherine's on. Catherine, I'm uh, wearing your shirt. This is the shirt my sister got me for Christmas. Penguin. So there you go, it's on Catherine. I told you I'd wear it. Told you I'd wear it on a live. Let's get up to Puerto Colón. That's another landmark reached. It is a bit blustery. There's a bit of a sweeping wind. It's been like this all day. Always like the, the looks of this, nice and modern. Looks lovely in there. It's part of the hotel, I think. Always love the looks of it in that one. Looks very nice, it was for your birthday though, not Christmas. Oh, they all get combined, Catherine. Christmas, birthday, only three days between. <laughs> Do you like it in there? Babo, it's called. 
give that a try one night. This one here, Babo American Grill. Ooh, I think we would like that, Laura. Uh, hi from the Isle of Man, love your channel. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks for tuning in. I've honestly not heard an English person for a long time, a long while, walking along. I'm not hearing any English accents at all. How many steps have we done, Laura? Says Robert. Laura, couldn't tell you. 10,000 already? Nah. Yeah. No, I reckon about seven. Seven, I reckon. Andrew, how are you? Thank you very much. Uh, all good. Thanks, Sandra. Where is the Ted Baker shop in Tenerife? Ted Baker is in... As Laura's just correctly said there, the Duke Shopping Centre in Del Duque. Is that where it is? Talk over this music so we don't get a strike. Gosh, that's it, there is. I think it's quiet. Evening Night Striders, there you go. Mick Garvey's on, just think. Uh, this time next week, it will all be over. My dad hates Christmas. <laughs> he counts down till it's done. Oh, he won't hate all the studios, love to open space. Yeah. And the house is chaos. I said to Laura, though, Chris around. Christmas should be once every two years. Because it's not just one day, is it? It's three months. It's the two months before Christmas. And it's the month after with all the sales. One, once every two years would do me. All the putting up the decorations and taking them all down. Comes around too fast. You agreed. If it wasn't for months and months getting it shoved down your throat yeah, before I'd like it, more. with all the adverts and all the rest of it, it'd be alright. Just the month of December. Yeah. And then on the second of January it's done. Uh, why does YouTube frown on music? It's not YouTube itself, it's the owners of the music. Um they yeah, they're greedy, basically Sony music, etc. They will copyright strike the video, so they take a lot of the revenue away from the video because they claim that you've made money from their songs, etc. It's uh, there's just dead strict on it in a clear five seconds and they'll copyright strike it. Uh, Justin Justin Bieber, just whoever owns Justin Bieber's music, he didn't just copyright strike, he fully copyrighted the whole video. The uh, Disney Springs one in Florida. His Christmas song was on in one of the shops and they took everything from the video until I muted that section. Disgusting. Yeah, not even like a bit. They took they took it all until I got rid of that section and muted it. And the thing is, Justin Bieber doesn't even get that money. No, Sony does, or whoever owns his music. Taylor Swift had just re recorded her album Red because she didn't like the last owners having the music, so she re recorded it, so she owns it. <laughs> but someone's saying bar humbug, Andrew. It's, I, I love Christmas, just not three months of it. No, I admit three months is too long. The first, first December till the second of January, done. Yeah. Harry has a bell now. Do strikes cost you much? They just take a lot of the... They take a chunk of the revenue or all of the revenue, depending how much they want to copyright it. It's just best to avoid them completely. Just avoid it all completely if you can. So we're at the top of Puerto Colón now. Should we carry on, Laura? Um, easy, whatever you want to do. We'll carry on for a little bit. Just to let everyone know, I've texted five times and the message have been ignored. The Brits are here. Don't understand what that means, Victoria. Hi, Andrew Laura, how was your holiday? Absolutely amazing. Harry's pots are bubbling. Ooh, that cheese naan. Cheese naan is the highlight, I think, for me. Love it. Hello. Dunking it in.
the old lodge. Ooh. Always fall on these stairs. <laughs> Your dad said once every four years, like the World Cup for Christmas. <laughs> Are you going to video your meal? Yeah, we're going to stay live while we have our Indian as well, so it is going to be a long live stream. Yeah, we will be walking back to Tandoori Hort, staying live for the dinner, etc. So it will be a long one. Can you say hi to the twins, Catherine and Claire? Big fans. Hi, guys. Thanks for enjoying the channel. Plenty of music going on in there to talk over. Now this is much quieter than when I was here last time. Couldn't move on here last time. Eight Christmas decoration by mistake today. Now I have t tinselitis. <laughs> oh dear. That was a dad one. Big shout out to all the spanners. Thank you very much, moderators. Doing a good job. When you walk past the bars and shops with music, can you not mute? No, you don't get the option uh, to mute, unfortunately. Otherwise I would. It's not a problem. You just talk over it. Thank you for being live. You're very welcome, Sarah. Hope you're enjoying it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you're new as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Plenty on the way. Parents are back out in February, Courtney. Got plenty planned with them. Two weeks. Mick Garvey, plenty of videos going on. Oh, Mum Strider's on as well. Sorry I'm late on. You're only 72 minutes late, Mum, you know. What have you been doing? <laughs> Are you missing the cold UK weather? Sometimes I put my coat on sometimes. Laura's not missing it. Uh, when we can expect the next Florida vlog? Uh, should be tomorrow, Catherine. Uh, should be tomorrow. And unfortunately, you don't feature much in tomorrow's because you are working. So you're not in t tomorrow's. Coming out on the 27th, hopefully you'll be fine. If you're booked to come, look forward to it. There might be a few extra restrictions, mainly just reduced capacity in bars and restaurants. Other than that, you'll be spot on. Does Mick Garvey write the jokes for Christmas crackers? I like that, Stephen. <laughs> How much further do you think you can handle, Laura? Not much further. No. <laughs> we'll quickly show the view of Fanya Bay and then uh, head back and get our curry on. It's not too far to Tandoori Hut. It's not all the way back to Los Chris, that's for sure. Tide is right out as well. Poor Laura, she has to take two steps to every one of I yours. Do. I do, I'm telling you, I've got a little jog on behind them. Yeah, you got to burn off all them toffee apples. Uh, yes, we have Wayne, yes. Had our jabs. Hello everyone from Long Island, New York. Merry Christmas, thanks Anthony for joining. Hope you're well, has Harry kept you a table? He has, I hope he has, I did book in. Well, what time is it now? Oh, okay, but I did say half seven, so we should be pretty spot on by the time we get back. Yeah. Start wandering back now. Yeah. What are you fancying, Laura? You don't know? No, I don't. But we'll let Harry choose, I think. Gonna let Harry choose, okay? I'm, I'm going straight in with my butter chicken medium. Gotta be done with, of course, the cheese naan. 
I need to give Laura a piggy. I can't piggyback and hold oh, the gimbal. I can't piggyback anyway, my poor little legs. I do can't carry me, he always has to do heavy. Do have more chance of me piggybacking uh, Let's walk up actually, since we've covered this area, let's walk up and walk along the street side. Show some of the hotels as well. There you go, there's a plan. A bit warmer as well, up the street side, Yep. Harry's going to pick you a fall in, Laura. I'll eat the fall. <laughs> So thank you all very much for tuning in as well. Uh, we've still got over a thousand tuned in, so thank you very much for that. I didn't expect it to be so high close to Christmas, but you amaze me every time. Thank you all very much. As I said, if you can hit the thumbs up helps. And uh, also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. It's not a nice smell around here. <laughs> if anyone knows where we are and knows the smell. <laughs> It is. I'm feeling it now. It's feeling really quiet again. Charlie, we're off to Tandoori Hut now for Indian. We're going to stay on live, so uh, we're not going anywhere. I just wanted to uh, thank everyone for staying tuned in. Let me know your thoughts, though. Do you feel like it has gone quieter? It's a shame, but let's hope we don't go close. Yeah, around. I've not heard any Brits tonight, no. really. One or two. Yeah, normally it's just full of British people. Yeah, it's a shame. Guys, if you haven't got a flight out, come out. Yeah, I wouldn't let it put you off coming at all. Level three, level four, all it is is reduced capacities in bars and restaurants. And done whatever's going to happen, we've all done it before. Yeah. So you're going to have loads of help and loads of people to guide you to get what you need to get and do what you need to do, so don't be afraid. No, I wouldn't let it put you off coming at all. People came in level three and four last time when the rates were high and still had a great time. Yeah. Just got to be careful. And we went to Florida and got that test on the way home, which I've never, ever done before. Yeah, and it so was fine. we done it. Yeah. We'd have paid for it. We didn't mind paying for it. It was a bonus that it was free, though. And that was a mega bonus. That one. Even the people in the airport made up with Yeah, some people were actually paying $175 each. Um, oh, look at these kittens. <laughs> That's little kittens. <laughs> oh, is that, is that mummy there? There's a the little kitten there. <laughs> the plane around the bottom of the tree. <laughs> Here we are, this is Laura for the night now. <laughs> Cute, aren't they? They've got nice patterns, haven't they? That one's just like mummy. I'm sick of the one, just like that. They look healthy. Oh, it's another little black one here. Oh, oh. He's gonna play. He's coming. So actually had a, uh, it was gonna be a, a really, really nice story. It was still a nice story. Uh, one of my um, subscribers came into the office the other day to say hello, and he'd been over to La Palma to see the volcano. But he actually went to one of the animal shelters and volunteered. And in the shelters, they've got all the dogs sort of caged up with their name, addresses, etc. for people who've lost their homes, but the dogs have got to be cared for. But there was one dog who didn't have a home. They just found him. And uh, dead shy, dead scared and everything. But when, when he saw the subscriber, loved him, fell in love with him, wouldn't leave his leg, jumping all over him, loving it. And the man fell in love with him and was like, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. I'm going to take him home. Yeah. So I rang up his boss and his boss was like, yeah, I'll put half the money to it. It was going to be two grand. He was like, I'll put half the money forward, get him home. And then unfortunately, a few days later, uh, they found out they couldn't take him back to the UK because he was a, was a pit bull terrier. Yeah. And it's a, it's a banned breed basically in the UK. So... They couldn't take him because he was a banned breed, unfortunately. That would have been a nice story, though. It's a shame because they're not, danger, they're not bad dogs. Just some of them People just train them to be bad, don't they? Uh, he was soft as anything, he said. Most of them are. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be, and he couldn't uh, take him. But still a nice thing to do, to go over and uh, 
Oh yeah, I think you're getting shouted. <laughs> I thought I could hear someone saying I'm Laura. Here, I thought I could hear it. <laughs> Hi, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. You're okay. Good, thanks to you. Oh, yeah. Want to say hello to anyone? No? Yeah, we're not. Let me catch your breath. I was in the blue cactus. Oh, yeah. We'll just have a drink and then we're actually walking down. You're going to Tan Dory Goss? Yeah, marching on, starving. Ideally, exit yeah. is quite busy, but. Yeah. Okay, then. I said hi to Janet, Steve, Ashley, Jason. Albie and Paula Williams. Okay, yeah, it was it Paula Williams who was telling me to keep an eye out for you. It was it, yeah. Yeah, I think she was on earlier oh, was she, and yeah? said to uh, keep an eye out. Hi. So, there you go. <laughs> is she going to the dentist? Yeah. Is he angry? Yeah. Does he work? My goal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah I mean, Paula's, I Paula's met him a couple of times. Does she, yeah, yeah. yeah. Over here? yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're going to walk all the way back All the way back to so Sandori Club now. Have you had to have the booking Sandori Club? Yeah. Ideally, yeah. Uh, you, might get a few, you might get a few tables come up. I don't know how busy it is now. Because it has gone pretty quiet since we were last. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't know where this compass level three was. Not that strict, is it? No. I was there last year and then it went into lockdown. Yeah. Oh, we were all done I could see you. I was like, I'm sure your video's behind. And then I could see your buns. I was like, no, what the hell? And then you glitched me back. But where are you from in Liverpool? Eh, West Derby. Ah, okay. Yeah. No. Well, mum and dad are always in West Derby Conservative Club. Or it's, well, it's called Woodlands now, yeah, in the village, yeah. That's yeah. where I used to work there. Oh, it, yeah. How long have you been at Liverpool? Seven years now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We don't know yet. We're doing a live, but I don't know where we're going yet. There you go, on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for saying hello. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, there you go. Scouts are keen to say hello. Thanks very much for running along and saying hi. You're the first person we've met on the, on this video, isn't it, I think? Yeah. So thank you very much for coming and saying hello. There you go, Paula Williams. We saw her. There you go. <laughs> she made up now. I know, she ran, I could just vaguely hear Laura I in know, a Scouse like, accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Mick Garvey well said. I think he said something about... Let's read what he said. Um, let's see... Uh, don't let this inept government spoil your holiday plans. Yeah. Get the booster and stride on with your life. There you go. You put down a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a good little slogan to be fair. Yeah, quiet up here. We're gonna see if Harley's is back open. Oh, I think it was yeah. meant to be. La Pinta there, all lit up nice. Looks lovely that. Getting dressed up for Christmas. Yeah, they are nice, all the lights on them at night time. I like those lit up steps as well. Yeah, this looks like grand, those little expenses. And those lights. Have a quick look at Harley, see what's going on there. They said they aren't reopening yet. Ah, okay. They were due to um, just before we went away or just after we went away. Probably the right decision in hindsight. It was busy enough for a while, like when we were going to um, Hard Rock Cafe, etc., and the queue was out the door, I thought it was well busy enough for them to be open. Sao Paulo, there's a few uh, good acts on in here. As well, you have got Rod Stewart there. Brenda, I've never seen Brenda before. Rod's very good though, if you like uh, Rod Stewart, Jed Bolton there. Walk slowly up the hill so Laura can keep up. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a bit of a hill to walk up here now. I know you love a good hill. <laughs> All just getting the legs into shape. Just think you can have an extra starter or something, you'll have earned it. Yeah, we brought a lot of naughty oh. treats back with us. Oh, a big massive pack of Oreos, gluten-free back. Hi Jane, yeah, we're over our jet lag. We get over it pretty quick. Yeah. You'll see in the vlogs, we have a big tip for getting over jet lag. And it does work. Yes. Yeah, does possible. work. After, th after two days, we sorted. Sorted, but I hope you're well, Jane. 
but you're missing Tenerife now. Call in at the Thirsty Tail. There's a new bar opening up that I saw up here as well. When I delivered a car the other day, I saw it. And I don't think it's open yet, but I'll see if it's... It was just up from Thirsty Tail and it had similar, like, font for the branding. All those little bulbs. See if I see it. I'm sure I saw it when I drove past. Oh, me legs. <laughs> just, who was telling us about this hill? This hill is deceptive. It's because it's so long, isn't it? Just a bit. It's like a ski slope. So there's the Thirsty Turtle there. It was just up from the Thirsty Turtle, I think. Unless I was blind. Out of form with hills, Florida's flat, I know. I know. <laughs> Florida's lovely. Which airline did you fly with to and from Florida? Virgin. Always do Virgin Atlantic. I've never done any other yeah, apart Thomas from Cook Thomas Cook once. Yeah. That was it. The ginger pig. It's new to me. I've never seen it before. And it's got like the bulb writing. A bit like the thirsty turtle. If anyone's got any info on that, let me know. The ginger pig. I can't see what it says afterwards. Bar and kitchen. There you go. So that's going to be next to St. Eugene's. Ginger pig. Oh, that hill was uh, hard work, Laura. Now, do we go back down that hill or do we stay up top? Tricky, innit? Yeah. I've forgotten the name of the shopping centre already. What's it called? San Eugenio Shopping Centre. There you go. All this stuff. The Thirsty Tail are opening it. So there you go. Thirsty Tail are going to open the Ginger Pig as well. I said that. I said the branding was similar when I told Laura. But well, there you go. Tenerife Beer Garden there. Pardon? I personally the Hungry Hippo. The Hungry Hippo. <laughs> what sort of a name is the Hungry Hippo? <laughs> Tenerife Beer Garden there. We do know the owners of that. We need to try it one day. I was just looking to see if they were in there. Yeah, the there. owners are sometimes in of an evening. Yeah, we will have to try that one day. Plenty of places to try. Nice two week break and you can refresh and see all these things that you don't see normally. Oh. I've just joined and heard lots of panting and wondered what channel I'd tuned into. <laughs> the Tenerife Hills are deceptive, I tell you. Especially when you've already been walking for 85 minutes. Hiya, you okay? I've always said that looks nice as well, that one. The Grand Maison. Yeah, it looks like the doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that'll be a nice one to try that. The what's it called again? I've forgotten already. The something pig. The ginger pig. Ginger pig. I'm gonna try that when it opens. Again, it lifts the area up. Nice new bar going on. Somewhere else to try. I hope you have enjoyed this little walk, guys. If you have, please do hit the thumbs up. Let us know. We're just getting ourselves back into it. Nice little bit of a live walk. Plainly our fitness levels aren't up to it yet. Hello. But I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We're on the way to Tandoori Hut uh, for an Indian. So you can stay live with us for that. We'll go and see Harry, have some nice food. And then tomorrow I think is going to be a continuation of the trip that we've just done. We've just been away for three weeks. So tomorrow will be episode two. Hi, are you okay? Hi, okay. You're looking very glam there. Have a good night. Bye. Yeah, they were uh, Scottish. There you go. Heard a few different accents up, up top. We've been go. seeing a few people here. there. So it's all glam and sparkly in that top. We can recommend Grand Mason. Yeah, we need to put that on the list. 
uh, missed these lives so glad you had a break thanks very much jane we needed it definitely needed it uh, call it the hungover hippo <laughs> Uh, please can you shout out my dad, he's called Craig, loves your videos. Hi Craig, glad you enjoy them. Now there is another new thing open down here, and I, again I saw this when I delivered a car again. I'm constantly scanning, I'm working but I'm always constantly scanning. This one here was worked on for ages and it looks lovely, now it's open. It's next to Rossini's and it's like a cocktail cocktail place let me take you a bit close it was getting worked on for ages i remember pointing it out and it looks lovely now it's finished i'll just quickly cross over and show you this it's right next to the pheasant plucker so this is another one to try got loads to try laura called leo i think that is leo cocktail gastro lounge Ooh, cake time we have cakes of the day and baked cakes in exhibition, served with ice cream. Coffee, cake and a coffee or tea, four euros 20. Croissant with a coffee or a tea, 385. Looks nice in there. Does, uh, I'll quickly show you what else we've got going on. Oh, prawns with garlic, dad would like that. We've got a burger, Iberian ham, croquettes. We'll definitely come back and try this one night. Love the theming on the walls, etc. And uh, nice padded comfy chairs. We've seen uh, those chairs are in the vault, so I know they're comfy. Yeah. <laughs> those look lovely, that. Right, we've got to walk on a little bit further. You've got the pheasant plucker there, which is hmm, not bad. A few people in there. Did you like the look of that bistro? I thought it looked nice. Enjoy your freedom. We are in lockdown again in the Netherlands. Sorry to hear that, Linda. Stay positive. Hopefully those cases drop down quickly. Had a meal there yesterday. It was really nice. Oh, there you go. There's another one to try for us. Looking forward to these. Cross over here. I'll tell you what, the walk in your head doesn't seem as far until you're actually doing it. Oh, yeah, lost Chris, lost Americas to a decky. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I was going to wear jeans. I'm glad I didn't. It's certainly warm enough. If you're walking around quickly like us, shorts and a t shirt is uh, perfectly fine. Tiramisu and a, oh, yeah, and a latte. See, that could be dangerous. I'm glad there's not one of them on my doorstep. Lunch should just be a croissant or a cake with a coffee. You can feel the sea breeze. You might get a bit of wind noise. Feel the sea breeze coming down now. You've got the Bougainville over there. We had our first lecce lecce yesterday, didn't we? It was nice. First lecce lecce in weeks. And um, then we went to Starbucks today and it just wasn't the same as an American Starbucks. No. It just didn't have the same feel, did it? Yeah, they don't have Laura's gluten-free Rice Krispie Cake. They don't have the good American lemon loaf with the icing on. They're still nice though. We met a couple of subscribers were there as well having a hot chocolate. It was nice chatting to them for a minute. We were on Tenerife three weeks ago. So if anyone is new to the channel, comment and let us know who is new in the chat. We've got 1,146 watching. How many of you are new? If it's your first time here, say hello. Drop your comments. And if you haven't already, you've got to be subscribed to uh, comments. Now that looks nice as well. Life, never seen that before. Ah, okay. Looks nice in there. Yeah. Very nice. Everything, everything, the standard is really coming up in yeah. Tenerife. Everything that gets done and changed is just that next level. It looks lovely up there. Pretty empty, but nice. Very nice. Ibrox bar. 
cheese and wine. Yeah, my dad's like loves like cheese and crackers rather than a dessert. But I'm all about. My dad's cheese and crackers guy as well. Yeah. I'm all about sweets. <laughs> Hard to tell. Hard to tell. I haven't been down here for a while. Nightclub with boobies, lesbian show. Oh dear. First excursions there as well. Aberdeen Steakhouse. Is that the same Aberdeen Steakhouse that's around? I'm sure there's two or three of them, isn't there? It's the same branding, isn't it? I like all the shrubbery above your head. Big chunk of meat there as well. <laughs> I am hungry now. Very hungry. That looks new as well. Eco Rent Tenerife. Got scooters and bikes in there. Oh, so there you go. So the last one. There you go. Not seen them. They're like the electric scooter things as well. Again, that's new. Everything changes. Everything changes. Two weeks away and there's loads more to see. Uh, it looks beautiful, Tenerife. Uh, being to Lanzarote, we'll definitely think about Tenerife next time. For sure, give Tenerife a try. Um, people are talking about double standards and hypocrites of the government now. <laughs> we'll leave you to that one. But this tree of the hotel here, it's uh, that's, an, that's an, just a normal tree they always have every year. Oh, yeah, that's, that's there permanently. It's just a tree, but they've dressed it up. It is nice as a Christmas tree, isn't it? Should have been there tonight. It's a shame, Susan. Stay positive. You'll be out here soon. Oh, I can smell tandoori hut from here, <laughs> drawing me in. Hi Andrew and Laura should be out there now, but granddaughter is 12. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare, yeah. It's a nightmare. nightmare. Make them do PCR tests at the airport. Yeah, they should have let kids do a test if they weren't quite over 18 or whatever. That's the H train Grant and Airfeet. Well, nearly. Fell down a pothole there. <laughs> I like snowflakes on the tree, that. I fell down one of them. Be careful of them. <laughs> I know they normally have trees in, the ones that don't, you just fold it, fall in. Burning off your Yankee calories, definitely making room for a uh, nice tandoori hut. It's picking up now, isn't it? Yeah. There's more people about now. Did a sign of his miss, though, yeah. Big shout out to Chris and Steve Cook from Entry Village. Oh, Mum's getting on with the admin there. Hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying the live. Thanks very much, Mum. You get them. You get them hitting that thumbs up. <laughs> I always fall in them. That's because I'm looking up. And the ones with the tree, you, you avoid because you know the tree are there. Well, I'll tell you what, my right arm isn't used to holding this gimbal either. I've been vlogging for three weeks and I'm still not used to holding this for long periods. How far is Tandoori Hut from here? <laughs> I can't remember. It's miles, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> no, it's not a big detour. It's pretty much the same. You avoid all them steps and stuff at Puerto Colón. Won't be long. I am enjoying a good wander, spotting new things to try as well. A couple of restaurants there to add to the list. Laura doesn't always avoid the trees. You'll never live that down <laughs> when you walked into that palm really. tree. <laughs> we didn't have it though. You had to scab on that for ages, yeah. didn't you? When's the best time to book a car from you if we travel in September? No. Uh, but no, about three months before. Three to six months before. You'll be fine. I'd say I'd describe it as a strange atmosphere, it goes busy, then it's quiet, then some restaurants are busy, some are just empty. It feels a bit 
surreal compared to when we left. It is nice and peaceful. Yeah, she took the words out of my mouth there. You know, you're heading towards Veronica because you can just hear the boom in music. Looks so warm, are you in a very comfortable, especially if you're walking like us? Nice and comfy. That's this little club here with the music on. Again, that's another place to try for a cocktail. Couldn't really do much with a YouTube video with the music, but it does look a nice, look like a nice vibe in there. La Terrazza. Be nice for a cocktail at sunset. It's done out, lovely. The fountain sign. You've been walking for the last two hours, I know, we have. 100 minutes of power walking. I'm feeling ready for me curry now, I've made room. I'll sit down and I won't, I won't be able to get back up again, so you'll have to go and get the car, drive around and pick me up. <laughs> Luckily, we did leave a car earlier today outside Tandoori Hut to drive home in. It was pre-planned. I've enjoyed the walk. It's been nice to see um, Tenerife, that nice sea breeze. Smell of the ocean. Yeah. It's nice to be back. How are your feet? My feet are fine, my legs are sore. My little skin muscles are sore. You'd think we'd be fit as a fiddle walking around Florida theme parks for two weeks. No, because every hour we'd stop and have a snack. <laughs> that was literally what we've done. Great to see you back on Sundays. Thanks very much, Jimmy. If you are enjoying it, let me know. Yeah, we are, but not too far. Don't panic. We're not all the way back to Los Cristianos. I'm going to stay on the top road, have a look at Veronica's. Not yet. <laughs> Laura's jumping, Laura's jumping towns in her head. <laughs> no, we're not parked up there, that's Palm Beach. Just shut your eyes and I'll tell you when we get there. <laughs> That'll go down well. <laughs> You're trying to skip places. Uh, if you don't think about it, you'll get there quicker. <laughs> Did the same walk 10 days ago, my legs ache too. It's all the slopes you don't realise. You're up and down, now we're down again. There's slopes and you don't realise quite how quite how steep they are when you're doing them as well. So if anyone's got any questions for us, pop them on. I'm happy to answer any questions you've got regarding Tenerife. I'll answer them as best as I can. I might not know everything, but I'll try and answer any questions that you might have. Taxi for Laura. Yeah. If we could have your fitness stats in the corner, oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Lord if you could put your live, your live stats as you go, calories burned, steps, clocking up in the corner, that'd be good. That. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be good though when you when you're eating though when you're you're watching the calories go up as you munch down a load of cake. Unfit? Yeah, probably not in the best fitness. Who is during these times? I know. I'm getting up tomorrow and I'm starting back with me exercise for five days a week. So there you go. Stayed on top of Cardiac Hill. Yeah. That's a nightmare. Are you still busy with the car hire? Yes, still very busy. Uh, we've had no cancellations as of yet. I think we've had one, um, but it was filled straight away for, for the week over Christmas. We're turning down about 10, 15 people a day for that week. We've got a few around at the moment for the odd two, three, four days. And then for the weeks over Christmas, right up until about the 8th of January is solid at the moment. What does curry taste like? Oh, you've got to try it. If you haven't tried it, got to try a curry. Oh, you can't beat them. Love them. Sweet ones, you can have spicy ones, you can just have salty ones. Why don't you try one of those double mobility scooters? They're not legal if you're not disabled. I 
if you're not disabled and you get caught on the prom, you can be fined. Um, you've got to be careful with them if you've not got a disability badge. They're not meant to be on the promenade. But yeah, I could do with one of them right now. My little legs would enjoy one of them. Little golf cars would do. Papagaya all lit up blue. It's blue, isn't it? Oh, purple then. Are oh, you doing Vlogmas? Not this year. Obviously, we've been away. We've missed half of Vlogmas. It's the, well, most of Vlogmas. It's the 19th today, is it? We're going to have some nice Christmas vlogs. Christmas vlogs will be coming up, but not. we're not doing the full day one, day two, and all of that this year. We would have, but then we went away, so didn't happen. One thousand two hundred and sixteen tuned in. Hit that thumbs up button, please. Remember, you need to be subscribed as well to comment if you want to drop a question or anything in the chat. Are we all set for Christmas, Laura? No, um, not really. We've got, I'm going to cook a Christmas Eve dinner. Laura's going to do a quick Christmas Eve dinner, not the if full shebang, though, is it? If you want to join me, guys. So I've got the veggie man coming the day before Christmas dinner. Oh, we've got the veggie man coming with, with oh, yeah. freshly delivered sprouts. We've and upped the pain, game this year. Yeah. Well, no, because the reason why we don't do Christmas dinner is because you can. It's just you can't get anything. It's a nightmare getting all your fruit, all your veg and all that. So I just ordered all my veg off him, potatoes and that off him. And then we're just gonna have a chicken, aren't we? We're yeah, we're not gonna have turkey. We're just gonna have like a chicken roast, and but we've got we're sprouts. End up going and get the, the, the ready-made chicken from Mercadona. Probably, yeah, the ready-made, already cooked chicken from Mercadona. Cutting a few corners, but we've upped the game with the veg delivery man. And I've got my pickles. <laughs> Not far now, can almost see Tandoori Hut, lovely. I'm in Southern California, see, we were, we were talking about USA earlier, uh, the Amber Life, saying that the, the Indian, there isn't really many Indian restaurants over there, it's not a big thing. But if you can, you should try a curry, even if you make one yourself at home. Uh, say hi to Harry from us. It's uh, Mick Garvey, I hear Rudolph now has to self-isolate. His nose has failed a lateral glow test. <laughs> yeah, Veronica's as you'd expect. But it is still very early. Sprouts are not just for... I know, but the thing is, we can only get fresh sprouts in Tenerife around Christmas time. We find you can get frozen stuff, but you can't beat fresh sprouts. But... Mick, don't you have a day job? You'll see Mick's day job in tomorrow's vlog at half six. You look forward to that one. I had a good laugh editing that. <laughs> Lava as well. Empty. I hear today there is going to be another lockdown after Boxing Day. Ah, oh, let's not think that far ahead. Just keep yourselves safe. Stay well, positive. Well, nice to get your Christmas. You didn't get it last year. Yeah. Let's just enjoy Christmas. Yeah, this time last year was even worse than it is now, so we can't complain. Sprouts are lovely. Love oh, sprouts. Wow. Love them. Oh, yeah. I love getting them off the store. They're my favourite. Yeah. Hi TG, how's it going? Hope you guys are okay trying to PayPal message you and having issues. Oh, I have not checked PayPal for a while. I'll try and log in. Um, thank you very much, but no, I've not checked anything PayPal-wise for a few weeks, so I'll check that. Uh, maybe I need to log in or something. Uh, but hope you're well, TG. Hope you're out soon as well. Please don't miss the vlog of Andrew's visit to me. <laughs> yeah fun they'll see that tomorrow dad oh tex-mex that smells nice oh yeah i'm smelling the barbecue Oof, i think we're just hungry laura starving here nice sprout curry you know what i'll probably try that <laughs> tandoori hut has just sold the last cheese naan i'd be devastated uh, hopefully back in Tenerife end of March. Epic Phil. Uh, did you have a fantastic time in America? Did indeed, Darren. Thank you very much. Loved it. We vlogged every minute. 
but it will take a while for all of those vlogs to uh, eventually all end up on the channel. Especially now in 4K, it does take longer to edit, it takes longer to render and upload, etc. But you'll see them all eventually. Indian place is becoming popular now, actually. And so maybe a type of restaurant. Yeah, you need to try it then, Amber Life. Get yourself in. Try, try a little curry. <laughs> I didn't tell him there was water in this syringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see on tomorrow's vlog. Oh, we're nearly there, Laura. I know. I can smell it. Oh, I'll come to sit down. I know, rest me legs. I hope you're all gonna stay on. We are gonna stay live while we're uh, having the Indian. So if you do wanna stay and join us, uh, you're very welcome to. We will be staying on live. Oh. Wonder if there's a record for the most sprouts eaten. There is. Is there? Yeah. Wonder what it is. How many? <laughs> Still got 1250 tuned in as well, made up with that. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, no news or rumours or changes at all um, in terms of coming into Tenerife. No butter chicken left. <laughs> Can we see the menu? Yeah, we're going to show you everything when we get in there. We'll show you the food, the menu, everything. Get to see Harry, who we haven't seen for a while. I'm with you though, Laura. My legs are knackered here. My legs are knackered. What's your favourite Chinese? I'd definitely probably say either overseas or Taipan. Yeah, especially the teppanyaki table is phenomenal. I like fresh flags. A man from Ireland has eaten the world record of 33 sprouts in one minute. <laughs> there you go. I'll beat him. <laughs> Good. Your legs are out of breath. It's not about my legs. I'm out of breath myself. <laughs> Nearly there. I can see the blue sign in the distance. It's purple. 50 sprouts in 30 seconds. Oh my word. Maria Foster. Oof. That is a lot. Definitely busier in this area. Yeah, it's quite nice over here, isn't it? Are you looking forward to a few days off work over Christmas? I wish, Darren. Busy, busy. Sure, we've got Christmas Day arrivals and departures. We always do. Yeah, people always fly on Christmas Day. No days off for us, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm ready. Get that cheese on in the oven. <laughs> How have you watching this laughing? Have you eaten your chocolate yet? Not all of it yet. David, not yet. Ooh. H10 Las Palmeiras, all fully open. Definitely say prayer to Colon area was quieter than this. Walking behind you walk too fast. We are quick walkers, but we're starving. Does anyone else not feel Christmassy this year? I do not feel remotely Christmassy. Uh, maybe I feel Christmassy tomorrow when I have my 
hot chocolate. Laura's doing a famous Christmas hot chocolate tomorrow. And thanks to one of you lovely guys, you brought me a bottle of Bailey's over. Yeah, so. someone did generously bring us a bottle of Bailey's over as well, so that'll be going in the hot chocolate. Thank you very much. Oh, we're here. Food. Oh, I can't wait. Din Din's. Went to Tandoori Hut last week. It was packed. A very nice meal. Ooh, it's busy now. Rammed. I hope so. It's busy in there, though. It's good stuff. Made up, he's busy. Doesn't feel like Christmas at all. I'm with you, Kev. Not at all. Feels totally not Christmassy. Ooh, let's get ourselves in. Yeah, it's great to see it nice and busy. Busy, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I think so. Hi, are you okay? Oh, nice. Oh, that was a long walk. Hi, are you okay? Having a good time? Oh, I'm knackered. That was a long walk. I'm ready for my curry now. So, a bit more of you bad. Nice. Nice. I'm excited. I'm hungry now. Hi, yeah, you okay? Ah, it's great to be back. I think these are new table and chairs as well, I think. I'll have to ask Harry in a minute. Hey, Harry, you okay? Yeah, hey. New table and chairs? You know, did you know? See? I'm good, I'm good. Here he is. Yeah, everyone. Nice and, nice and comfy. <laughs> just, just have to make a change. Yeah, it's uh, nice. Ooh, Very nice. Smile. Smile. I know. I thought the, in the, the walk in my head was not as long as it was uh, actually doing it. Oh, cool. That's some going there. Probably about 20 pounds. I needed it. I needed it. Have you got a lot of people want to see the menu? Have you got a physical menu I can show them? Bring them all. Okay. I'll show them all. It's online anyway. It's online, but I'll show them on the camera as well. Give people a back story. There you go. I'll show you the menu. It is online as well. Yeah, but I'll show you everything. Can you say hello to Harry for me? I will in a second when he comes back. Yeah, he looks busy there. Oh, I'm ready for this. Thank you very much. Thank you, you want to put a pint of uh, Yes, please. I think Laura has the same, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Harry. So let me quickly show you these menus. So you've got them. So you have got cocktails, if you want any of them. But these are all cocktails and desserts, these. They have got traditional Indian desserts. Cake of the day is normally what I go for. Let me show you. Now the special menu is really good value. It's slightly smaller portions, bear that in mind. Uh, it is slightly smaller portions to the normal menu, but excellent value. If you want to try a little bits and bobs of, all, of everything, if you want a bit of a starter and a main, and it, you don't want it too big, um, then this is perfect and that's 13 95 There you go, there's that one. And now for the mains, so. Appetizers, all your poppadoms, pickle trees, etc. Non veg starters, so I normally go for this one here the chicken pakora. Tandoori chicken is also very nice. Then you have got your veggie starters. Laura normally goes for an onion bhaji. Uh, kids' menu, so if your kids aren't into curries, you've got chicken nuggets, fish and chips. You've even got wraps. Ooh, a chicken tikka wrap. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Uh, tandoori sizzlers. That comes on all the sizzling plates, etc. There's absolutely loads on here. The full menu is online. Uh, butter chicken is what I normally go for, but I get it medium, so you can get any of these. You can pick your spices, so you can go for different spice levels. Biryani, Dad loves the chicken tikka biryani. Oh, there's loads. 
absolutely loads on here. It goes on for ages. And again, if you're not into Indian or curries, there's pork chops, there's sirloin steak, there's chicken breast. Oh, and there it is, all the different naan breads. Cheese naan, number 100. There you go. Omelettes. There you go, and it goes into Spanish then. So there you go. Did you notice? I noticed straight away. The new table and chairs. It took her a while to notice. It is pretty busy. They've got a reserved table there that's reserved, and everywhere else is uh, full in here. Every table's gone. The chicken and cheese sizzler was my favourite. I might have that tonight. Chicken and cheese tea cake. I might go for that. I'll go for the glass of carver. I've your diet coke anyway. I know. And I've got a nice rosé glass of carver. And it's Christmas. Come on then. Go for it. I'll have a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I asked Harry what the score was between your teams. I told him not to gloat too much. What was the Liverpool score in the end? Did it finish the same? I won't say it though, because yeah. I feel as if I know you, but I don't, of course. Oh, no, had a true. wonderful holiday. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. That. We're from Wales. I've been watching the glass, as you know, a lot. Lovely couple. we really, really happy for you. I said, I'm not going to speak to you, and then I'm going to have a gin now. So ah, I always I come, come, come and say hello. Always, I've got to say hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. But we cannot get cannot watch you and we can't we've got to go down into reception to see what's coming up. Can you understand this well, Jackson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well you'll have you'll have loads to catch up on then. I when will you get back. Uh, you'll have a lot to catch up on. Florida thing and, uh, there you go, you're on. <laughs> What else was I going to say? I was going to say so much. Have you eaten yet? No, we just had one. It's because of you that we're here tonight, of course. And we're going to the Vegas store on Christmas Day. And you're doing a vlog, I see. Yeah, don't know where yet, but we'll be doing one. We don't know where yet. You look younger now. Thanks for the it's nice to chat with you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Are you only now or later? Yeah, we're trying to help and we'll uh, I'm a bit hungry. Harry, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Can I order? Who did this order now? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go for it, Harry. We'll get our order in. Uh, let's see, I missed a few Googling curry over here. Uh, Andrew's more famous than ever. There you go. On the carver. Where's this come from? Christmas. So you're in holiday mode, can't you? I've been working all day. Can't believe you didn't take me to see Harry when I was over. I know. I think we not have a time already. I think it didn't wear it's something we tried to go and something happened, I remember. I can't remember now. Uh, I will 100 percent bring you in next time. Hey, Courtney Walsh, how far away would you say from Milia Hardina's is Tandoori Hut? About a 15 minute taxi. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's worth it. Um, yeah, about a 10 15 minute taxi. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that's nice. Needed. I know. I'm starving. So am I. Chicken and cheese tikka. Onion bhaji. And then you're getting Harry to pick your mains. Yeah. Harry is going to pick Laura's mains. But he knows what you like, he knows how, how spicy you like yeah, it. Yeah, as long as he doesn't give me any seafood, I'm happy. There you go. Thank you so much. 
cocaine. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Can I have chicken and cheese tikka to start? Laura's going to have onion bhaji. Uh, well done, please. I like it cooked extra. Well done. Can I, can I have a butter chicken medium, please? And you're going to choose me? You can choose him, Amy, whatever you want. Really? Yeah. Just As no long fish. as it's not seafood. There you go. Something different. Something yeah. different. Thank you. And chips, yeah. I'll have chips. You want it a little bit spicy, don't you? I'll have Harry's shoes. Surprises. Surprises, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then... I'll do you special curries. Okay. Have you tried that biryani? No, surprise me. Biryani's with rice, are you okay with rice? Yeah, anything. Yeah. As long as it's not fish, I'm happy. Biryani, okay? Thank it's you. Biryani. Special biryani. With no king corn. No king corn. Oh, my dad loves the biryani. Um, then can I go? We're going to have two pilau rice. No, I don't need the pilau rice. Oh, no, yeah. One pilau rice. One chip. And I've been talking about cheese naan all the way here, Harry. <laughs> when you watch the video back, I say cheese naan about 100 times. No worries. <laughs> and the Papa Dom's yeah. And the Papa Dom's as well, please. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I'm excited now. Yeah, everyone's missed you, Andrew. Yeah, everyone's missed you. It's nice and busy. We just walked around. It was a little bit quiet in places, but yeah. nice and busy in here. In three weeks ago, it's okay, it's buzzing. It's different than last year. Well, it's better than last year. Tell me something, Andrew. What's the restriction? Are you six or four? It's meant to be four, is what I've read. Well, that's what I thought, but then somebody said six and all. It's all good. I'm just I've read four, but if anyone knows, let us know. Is it four or six in level three? Like, we're waiting for the Hestel to give us the update. From what I read, it was four. And then they're going to up it for Christmas Day and, and New Year's Eve. Oh, you can have a maximum of ten. Yeah, they did that last year. They, did they give us a bit extra yeah. on Christmas? It goes up to ten on, on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve. Oh, as long as they're vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. From what I've read. Yeah, everyone's giving different information. Yeah. That's the problem. There's no clear... Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so good holiday. Really Amazing. Yeah. Nice, nice break. Glad to be back. We miss our curry over there. They don't do curries, especially not tandoori hot curries. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I'm excited now. Okay, guys. So let me crack on with this. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. We'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> you just tell us to say hello. So I think the reason why I like this carver is because. Yeah, I've got you on anyway, so you're on. You're on the video anyway. Yeah, what are the names? Sheila and David, yeah. Yeah, oh nice. How long are you over for? Ah, okay. So you're back for Christmas Day then? Yeah. Where are you staying? Ah, okay, nice. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 I remember now. That was it. Is it nice? Big say? It's a nice spot right on the beach front, isn't it? I would like to go on that roof at sunset. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Have you eaten? Yes, yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. As long as you enjoy it, that's the main thing. Super. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah no problem. We'll get it in a second. No problem. Um, I've missed a few comments there. We've got a thousand watching. Thank you very much. Uh, please do hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Uh, Courtney Walsh, thanks for the donation. Indeed, thank you very much, Courtney. Uh, always supports the channel. Uh, just tuned in. Merry Christmas, Andrew Laura. Thank you very much.
I would order a fall if I could be sat with you now. That's how desperate yeah. that is to be out here. We'd have a fall. Oh, to be you'd here. be out here for Christmas, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, big time. You'd leave everyone behind, be like bye, and then come out here on the zoo for Christmas. How's your carver? This is what we've it's gone really for. It's really nice. I was just saying. I think the reason why I feel like I want some carver is because on Christmas Day last year, it was Friday so that I got drunk on. It was the uh, the white one, the white posh one with the, with the boobs in it. I think that's why I'm craving. Oh, that's hot, burning in a bottle for me, that. Really? That's really sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really yeah, nice. <laughs> Coffee, I'm just going to go with fine. Was that what we were drinking at Sarah's wedding? I think it might have been. I think it might have been. It's a good brand. Yeah. Uh, this beats the Royal Variety performance. There you go. Didn't know that was on. Thought that was on a different time of year. What did you all think about I'm a celebrity this year? Because I missed all your opinions on it. Oh, I didn't watch any of it. I saw bits of news about it. Saying it was good, bad. I didn't watch any of it. Oh! Which tandoori hot are you at? We are in the one in Las Americas. Ooh. Bit of hand sanitizer. Super drug. It smells really nice, this one. The super drug zone. It's sensitive. It's nice. Doesn't smell like beef. I know. Some of them smell like beef. I don't know what to do And I'm excited for my, uh, you know, don't need that, Jules. There you go. Yeah. Mm. My spicy pickle dip. Well, that's got to say to me, that can't. You're dehydrated. I think I am. Have you bought any gifts for each other? No. We can't just forgot it, we? We had a nice holiday instead. Yeah. Love it. Sports personality of the year. Don't get the hiccups, Jane says. Yeah. I know, I've got to be careful. I'm not doing it with you. So, work in the morning. Yeah. Laura's in in the morning. Lisa's on holiday now. Have a well-earned break. Dean and I tried to do a holiday instead of gifts. Ended up doing a last minute dash because we couldn't go to Budapest. Oh, that'd be interesting to see what you've got each other. I know what Dean's got you, Catherine. I don't think you're going to like it either. Has he got it? I wouldn't like it. No way. Dean's getting kicked out. Christmas Day. Is it good? He's not watching, so you can tell me now. I can't tell you. Got you in the mood for a six week break in January. It's, um, this is. Hopper Dom, it's called. Again, love these. Show you a little bit of the view while we munch away. 
can just see lights twinkling everywhere. It's very festive. Do you think we will get out there for New Year? I do, yeah. yeah. I think you'll be fine. Sports personality is Laura Sprinter Strider after tonight. Good exercise, that. I heard Dean bought cats some other gloves. Now I'm going to ask you a question as well now. What is your favourite part of Christmas? Is it the food? Is it the presents? Is it the tree? Is it the family time? Is it the movies? What is your favourite part of Christmas? Let me know. Everyone's got to answer. Yeah, we did get sauces with the poppadoms. They're right here. I'll quickly show you. You've got a few dips. Laura's got the other dip over there. Uh, Courtney says spending time with the family. It's completely different to have your family on Christmas because you're all in the same good mood, aren't you? Putting the tree up. And uh, let's see what else we've got. A week off work, nice. Boxing Day football is a popular one. My favourite is pushing Mick Garvey to his limits and making him have a full Grinch breakdown. <laughs> Love Christmas Eve, excitement, all matching pyjamas, cheese boards, when it's over. Uh, two weeks off for the Mat Man, family time, Paula Williams. See the look on the children's faces. Everyone gathered round, opening the presents. Watching the football on Boxing Day with Everton playing, yeah. New Year's Eve is your favourite. Wedding anniversary, go to the lakes, nice. Mum's trifle only makes it once a year. If you're lucky. Only fools and horses on the TV oh, after yeah. eating food. It's yeah. always on, isn't it? Nice call, painting Yolos. Hi, say hello to them for me, round the corner. Say hello. Love the whole day. I used to love waking up to the smell of the, the, the turkey and the sausage in the oven. Just have an excuse to just drink carver, champagne the whole day, no one judging. Even better if you got a Christmas where it was snowing or oh, it was yeah. frosty. Oh, yeah. I used to love going out on Christmas Eve with the family and getting destroyed and going home, trying to walk home with the roads, icy when you're drunk. I love that. See, I'd, I'd never get drunk on Christmas. Laura yeah. gets drunk on Christmas. Do you remember last Christmas on the live? You got hammered and made us go to three, three different Chinese on the way home, and then fell asleep and didn't eat any of it. Are you doing yourself? And best part is when nobody visits. <laughs> Waking up on your birthday, Andrew, to two foot of snow when we were kids. Yeah, that was good. It snowed on my birthday a lot. Yeah, it was good, that. The sprouts, I'm with you there, Cathy. Can't beat sprouts. Did you have a crimbo dinner when Andrew and Laura were home? We did one year when I was working in the call centre. I used to get two weeks off over Christmas. Um, That's the only time, yeah. Christmas the only time, yeah. Moving out here. Forecasted snow in Manchester on Christmas Day. Oh, nice. Can't beat the snow on Christmas. Or frost. What's in James Bond? It is all the movies come out, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> what movie will you watch this year? I'll watch it and then get older. The Grinch is a common one. I love Grinch, I love the Elf movie, I love um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Love It's Christmas Carol's favourite. 
Miracle 34 Street, the Remy. Putting the trimmings away. Um, hope Jude is okay, enjoys his first Christmas. We picked him up a couple of bits in America, didn't we? Yeah, yeah a couple of little outfits and that. I don't remember. I know you can't beat the snow, even if just, just for a day, Stuart, would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. House is so hot thanks to Dean, I told him to open the windows, and now his advent calendar is empty. Oh, they're getting worse. These jokes are getting worse. Looking forward to turkey curry on Boxing Day. Turkey curry. Those people do that for me, thing to do, yeah? <laughs> It's gonna be turkey and stuffing sandwiches. Yeah, like a yeah, turkey and stuffy stuffing sandwich. With a sausage on it. Sausage with a of gravy. On it. Yeah. Do you have Christmas pudding? Or do you have another I used to like the um, Christmas chocolate logs. Oh yeah. I don't do actually I don't do proper Christmas uh, pudding. When it's over, watching the snooker, is that all on Christmas Day? We still have the smell of the new annual booty or the beano when I opened them on Christmas morning. The smell of the paper. Team Woods and Team Daily tied for the lead. A couple of holes left, come on Team Woods, I'd love that. I'd love that. That would make my Sunday. Come on Team Woods. Hi Paul, hope you're well. Sorry guys, only just got back from watching Spider-Man movie with the sun. How was it? I put a funny uh, TikTok on my Instagram uh, today of that. And he goes, some guy goes up to the window and like, two tickets for the movie please. And he's like, what movie? And the guy's in shock and he's in a Spider-Man outfit. Yeah. I don't mind the Spider-Man films. I don't mind the Spider-Man films. I can't do any of the others. Don't mind a bit of Spider-Man though. We've still got 943 tuned in. Thank you very much for staying on with us. Do appreciate it. Can't wait for Christmas Day at Harry's. Don't know what we're going to do Christmas Day yet. Don't know. I just scheduled the live and we'll see what we have. We'll see what happens. So I was going to make plenty of sausages for you and all those pieces of blankets and even after sandwiches for your tea on Christmas Day. Like we'll see. See what happens. Ooh, look at it. Sizzling away. Hey. Thank you very much. Look at these. Look at that. Oh. Sizzling away. Smells amazing. There's Laura's onion bargees. That smells so good. They got loads of people asking Paul Cole if the Spider-Man movie was good. I would like to see that. It's so good. Look at that. And it just falls, the chicken just falls apart. So tasty. I've missed that. And it's really nice, I've not had that for ages. I've only had my chicken pakora. Really nice to have that as a change. 
My nephew said the Spider-Man movie was ace. I love the cheeky drink in the kitchen when I pop out to check on the dinner. <laughs> hey, I didn't know about that, Mum. Now you've let the cat out the bag now. You've let the cat out the bag there now, Mum. Plainly. Brilliant, apart from the hundred odd queued before we even got there. Sports Direct. I would like to see that. But I won't be able to watch it for a few months because we don't get it for a while. That's another thing we haven't done for a long time, been the cinema. Since way before Covid. We were looking at going um, in Florida while we were there to the, to the cinema, but there was nothing on. Probably a part of that Spider-Man was probably on, we didn't even know. No, it wasn't, so it just come out. Should be on Disney Plus to watch the first one. I'm sure I've seen the... With Tom Holland. You've done three now. So this, this is the third one. Far from home, this is no way home, it's another one. Try and give them a whale. If you went to live in Florida, would what? Would you miss an Indian meal? Yes, yeah. 100%. We'd have to make one, wouldn't we? But we'd never be as good. Oh no, it'd never be as good. We'd have lots of tandoori no, if you could have, you could have a tandoori hut in Florida. Yeah. Home cooked curries are good, but you can't beat getting one out, can you? No, you can't. All the women in the kitchen having a good drink. Apparently that must be a common thing to do then, apparently. Yeah. Christmas Day. Does your mum do that? We must have had a drink on Christmas Day, we'll drink it with her. Oh, that was so good. Loved every bit of that. It's gone. That was amazing. Oh yeah. I could eat that all day. The film Elf is on Sky, yeah. Um, I know The Grinch is on Netflix, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I need to watch as well my... Um, what's it called, the one with the turbo man doll? I forget every time. With Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Oh, it's gone. Not jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. Need to watch that as well. Yeah, love jingle all the way. With the turbo man. And the Grinch, they're my two favourites. Caught a little bit of what was that? There was one on this afternoon, I caught a bit of it and I've never, never seen, seen it. Jack Frost. Jack Frost, never seen that. It's a great film, Part of Christmas is washing, washing up and clearing the empty bottles out of the kitchen. <laughs> and having a heart attack, I One of my favourites, and we haven't got it. Laura failed yesterday. Oh, I never failed. Let me down. Just struck me down. No books fizz. You didn't even ask for it. I went for it. I love books fizz. I drank a whole bottle last Christmas. You won't do the mixy thing, will you? You'd have to be no, Bucks Fizz. I like it pre mixed, probably a bottle of Bucks Fizz. Yeah. to the Lambs. Yeah, Bucks Fizz, they were all sold out in Iceland. So if anyone knows where to get Bucks Fizz in Tenerife, let me know. You're yeah. nice and wait to have some books. So there's 12 bottles in Catherine's house, that's fine, Mum and Dad's. 12 bottles? It just goes, my dad drinks it like it's fresh oh, orange. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, 
Loved that. I was ready for that. I hope you are enjoying, guys. We are breaking ourselves back in. And this is one of our favourite restaurants here. Been really craving a curry. I hope you have enjoyed this live so far. A uh, bit of a longer one, but great to uh, be back on and chatting with you all, etc. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe as well. And there's loads of stuff on the way, and loads of stuff already on the channel too. Today, I did put up a new news update as well with all the information on what is going on here at the moment. So make sure you check that out. Um, make your own now. I've tried that moment, doesn't No, it's just late. I just like the pre bit. Yeah, MF Spux Fizz. If I could get that over here. Yeah, you'd be happy. Too right. That is the. That is a name of a pop group back in the day. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. They don't want to sing it, but it's beating it up. Then you gotta slow it down. Let me know. Yeah. Knows all the tunes here. Making your mind up. Is it them who sing it? Christmas with the Griswolds. Is that a movie, is it? Never heard of it. I'll tell you what I love, and I can't do it this year, since Netflix changed after Brexit. The Spanish Netflix we get doesn't have friends, but what I used to do, especially on Christmas Eve, is I'd Google which episodes of Friends were Christmas ones, and then I'd just go onto Netflix and go in each series and watch the Christmassy episodes of Friends. But we've got no friends on Spanish Netflix, unfortunately. We get things like The Good Doctor on Spanish Netflix that the English don't. Yeah. But then we don't get things like Friends. Which is a shame. Make your own with Champagne and Tropicana. It's not the same no, though, is it? It's not the same. Yeah, it's quite nice though. I've tried, your VPN doesn't work. But I've tried it, I've got it. I've got Surfshark, it doesn't work. It only works on phones popping up the TV, it tells me. Works on your phone, but even then it was picking up on the fact that you were using a VPN. They're really small yeah. now. Yo, come round. No problem, <laughs> jump in. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Love that, it was gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have you got any other plans while you're over? Um, You'll love that. Enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best bit with the show and everything, the fire and everything. You can't but the food's amazing. Well worth it. It's a bit more pricey, but well worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll you oh, thank you very much. Right, Have a great time. Yeah, if you see him again, come and say hello. <laughs> Safe Shock isn't sponsored. I know. I got we got Safe Shock because they sponsor um, one of the channels we watch. Yeah. Finally, who it was. And now NordVPN, I think, sponsor producer Michael. I'll say cheese now. <laughs> um, favorite Christmas chocolates? I don't know. I've been banned. I'll see roses. Roses are good. I love heroes. And a selection box on Christmas board. Love heroes. Um, oh, what else? Can't beat a good bit of after eight. Uh, yeah. 
any, any. I, I, you've got me into Quality Street now. I never used to really like Quality Street, but yeah, I'm banned anyway. Ferrero Rocher like them, they come out at Christmas. I've been watching you since six o'clock. Thanks very much, Angela, for staying on with us. Really appreciate it. Uh, anyone who's been on from the start, amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, and if you can, hit the thumbs up as well if you haven't already. That was it. Yeah, Paul Lucas swinging it. That, that's where we yeah, end up with, with uh, Safe Shark from. Best quality street's got to be the long rectangular toffee. The orange crisp, the food Cream on the orange cream. Mrs. H, one that I completely forgot about, celebrations. Oh, Can't yeah. be them either with your Maltesers, your Galaxy. Have you tried the mint blitz? Not yet, not yet, Catherine. Not yet. Oh, got too many, too much stuff in our house. Maltesers, strawberry cream. Yeah, it's celebra the Maltese celebration ones are amazing. I love the Maltese truffles as well. White chocolate and milk chocolate, those special truffle ones. If you're watching, say, shark email. I know they should sponsor the video, shouldn't they? That'd be good. A bit of safe shark VPN. They sponsor everyone else. Oh, I've gone off Terry's chocolate orange a bit. There yeah, you are. I went off them a little bit. They're a bit just sort of sickly now. It's a bit sickly. Not as good since it was just chocolate in the just high in the price. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, we're talking chocolate now. We're on one now. I brought back a load of American Milky Ways. Now, American Milky Ways are the equivalent of a UK Mars bar. Only they're amazing, they're like Mars bars used to be. And I brought back a bag of proper American sour skittles, which actually have the sour oh, yeah. sugar on the edge. They don't do them like that in England anymore. Yeah, all the naughty stuff. Yeah, all the naughty stuff. Wait, Purple nut. No. You had the um, Costa one of them while we were home, didn't you? That purple nut. Oh, was that Catherine Addy? Okay. Easter eggs because they will never, because they will be out on Boxing Day. How everything comes out, I know. I've been having some cream eggs at home that mum got me. Sour Skittles amazing from USA, there you go. They're like they used to be. You will have missed your advent calendar. We've got two unopened sat on the top of the unit. We'll sort open tomorrow. Alright. That was amazing. Alright, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. They're all joking with me saying that there's no more cheese norms. Because I've been going on about this cheese norm. Oh no, no. They're saying they've run out. They're trying to buy me up. Someone wrote about the lights on the top of the Christmas tree. I meant to get a start. Put up there. That's what I'm doing. That was gorgeous, Harry. Yeah. Loved it. It's a nice check because I keep having that. I normally have the Pecora. It's nice to have that as a change. And you, Laura? Pay a check, yeah. yeah. Super. Look at the ladies happy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's the main thing, isn't it? Can you look, Andrew? Pop. Pop. Yeah, oh, yeah. As long as Laura's happy, we're fine. <laughs> gorgeous, that, Harry. No problem. I'm excited now. Let us know when you're ready for your meal. Yeah, we're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, Harry. Thank you very much. Ooh. American chocolate sucks now. Nah. No, Hershey's sucks, but the other Hershey's, stuff. Hershey's, no, but your Milky Way is oh, amazing. The Musketeers. Three Musketeers oh. are amazing. Junior Mints are amazing. Junior Mints. Milk Duds. Love oh the Milk God, Duds. Love milk Duds. Milk Duds. Oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a Milk Dud. Uh, Paul Cole, I got Andrew and Laura a box of cream eggs three weeks ago. It's mad, isn't it? Favourite Christmas song, we've got to be Driving Home for Christmas. Yeah. Driving Home for Christmas, I think. Or the Greg Lake one, I quite like. Do you believe in Father Christmas, that one? I like I'll Be Home for Christmas. 
anything crispy, I'm all over anything. Is Harry still doing the delivery app? He is. I'm going to turn it around and quickly show you. You can follow Tandoori Hut on Facebook. They've got um, Instagram as well. They've got TripAdvisor. And you can also order on Glovo, which is this one here. And you can have it delivered to your apartment or your hotel as well via the Glovo app. So make sure you give them a follow on Instagram and Facebook. Even if you just give them a thumbs up, it supports him. It uh, does help out if you can. Milky Bar Kid. Oh, I've had a Milky Bar for a while. Neither have I, yeah. Oh, I don't like a good Milky Bar. Oh, no, not Pogue's Fairy Tale of New York. Oh, I love Can't that one. There. I love that one. No, I'm not into that one. I'm not into that one. No, I like that one. I like anything Christmassy. Reese's peanut butter cups are amazing. You can get them in B and M. I love the Reese's peanut butter M and M. You know the little pieces, Reese's pieces. I love them. We're gonna do a big Florida haul anyway, so everything we bought, we'll see on the vlogs. Yeah. You got American marshmallows as well, didn't you? And I've got mini M and M's. <coughs> so I can't wait. Caramac, I didn't know you like Caramac, Mum. I do like that one as well, Patricia. Yeah. Bit of wham. I do like that. Bit of Michael Bublé, Dean Heron, I'm looking for my Cadbury's misshaped bag, Andrew. Have you seen it? <laughs> I haven't took them, honestly. They, they bought bags of those misshaped Cadbury's and I was munching on them. Watching a bit of Theme Park Worldwide, munching away. Love the theming on those bags. I've not seen it. Have you put your picture up yet? Not yet, Paul. We've got to get it framed. It's, it's up. It. It's up on top of the unit, but we're not going to frame yet. But it's technically up. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks very much for that, Paul. Really appreciate it. We've got to get a frame, and then what I've got to do is I've got to cut tiny bit the edge off the frame because the um, the pictures in America are different than the pictures here, different sizes. So on the last one, I have to cut a tiny bit of frame around the edges, the white frame. So I've got to do this one. See, love the theming. Clueless. Clueless. <laughs> it's one of his popular sayings. Oh yeah, love the theming. Yeah. Uh, guess the bill, I'm back. Hi Ray, we still haven't had our mains yet, so you might be a little bit uh, too soon for that yet. Can't beat the Cadbury's Miss Shapes from Cheshire Oaks. They are nice. Uh, the last time I got a bag of Miss Shapes though, they were all crushed and it was all like stuck together. They're okay as long as they're not like smushed. I love chocolate nibbles. Are they? Only a few people know what chocolate nibbles are, but they all contain glue too. I've got to get, I'm just saying, only a few that don't contain glue, but I'm called chocolate nibbles. Chocolate nibbles. Oh. What was your favourite ever TV show when you were growing up? Probably mine was probably The Simpsons. And then when I was younger, probably Thomas the Tank Engine or Postman Pat. Yeah. The best you've made. Oh yeah, I did love the Thunderbirds as well. Oh yeah. What do you both want for Christmas if you had no limits on spending? A nice big fat house with a pool. Probably a house, yeah. We stayed in some lovely accommodation, which you're going to see on the vlog. Thank you. Um, and then when you come back to an apartment, yeah, we'd lo yeah, you'd, lo you'd love a house, wouldn't you? Yeah, nice big fat house with a pool and some of the garden. Not much. Not much. What would you all have? I'm going to ask you now the same question. What would you all have? One Christmas present, only one, unlimited price, what would you get? Can you not get a frame custom made? 
not over here. I don't know anyone that makes custom frames in Tenerife. Um, well, it's going to be too expensive. I'll just cut the edge off. Easier. Thank you. So I'll have to go and try and nice find the plate. same one as last time. Thank you. Or get two new ones. Oh, that plate is red hot. I love a hot plate. It is piping hot, man. That makes it for me. Every restaurant should do that. Boiling hot plate. Lovely. A window seat on a plane ticket around the world. A house on the beach in Florida with a pool. Do you watch any YouTubers in Florida? Yeah, we've got Tim Tracker. We do Prince Charming Dev. Page of Mr. Marrow. We love Page of Mr. Marrow. He's taken over Tim Tracker for me. Yeah. He's really good, Page of Mr. Marrow. Um, Trev and Chels. Um, oh, I can't think. We've got quite a few, isn't it? Yeah. An autograph from Garvey, Paul Cole. I'll get you one of them. I'll get you an autograph, Mick Garvey. No, I'm not Adam Hatton. Adam good. Oh, yeah. Um, Adam Hatton's very good at what he does. Yeah. Um, he's good. Nice. Yeah, I said you just you get on with some you don't as well. Um, Adam Hatton's very good. Ooh, look at that, Laura. Size of that. Oh, look at that. Special beer, on That smells amazing. You got chicken in there, Harry. Chicken, lamb. We normally put king prawns as well. Okay. Because Laura doesn't eat, so we do put extra lamb and chicken in there. Lamb, chicken. There's still a sauce coming out as well. Sauce is on the way. Very nice. Does look nice. My dad loves that. That's my dad's favourite. Uh, not into Adam the Woo. Not into him. No. Not our cup of tea. Again, it's very good, but just not our style. Um, we watch loads. Um, we quite like the Lodge guys when they go to Florida. Oh, there's so many. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Portion of chips. Portion of chips, thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Oh, thank you very much. Sammy, happy Christmas, Laura and Andrew. Cheers, Sam and Anne. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Oh, my favourite cheese naan. Butter chicken. Chips. Laura's there. Hi, Jill Gardner. And there's Laura's sauce as well. That'd be nice and spicy, that Laura. And it is very busy in here. They've just left. It is super busy. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. I don't know where to start. I tell you what, that's really good. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> It smells really flavorful. Uh, try a little bit of uh, Laura's biryani here. Full of flavor, that. That's nice, that, Harry. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, enjoy me watching you then. Pickle here. Thank you. Harry's a star. Your rice is lovely. It's like spicy but not too spicy but flavour. It's nice that. Let's try the lamb. Now I must say I've never had lamb in a curry. No. Yeah, I do what? Yeah, it's falling apart. You can't see that. The lamb is falling apart there. Yeah, it's falling apart. Nice. Even the chips are spot on. Chips. 
Just love it here. Hic two to one hiccups on the way, probably. Has anyone been watching the new series of Dexter? My mum's asking. It's meant to be amazing, I'd love to be watching it, but we can't get it over here. It's meant to be fantastic. Has Laura got a sauce? You have got a sauce, haven't you, with the biryani? Is it spicy? To it. It's nice I never know where to eat next. How are the Skodas doing? Yeah, really good. I have contact them, contacted them yesterday. See if I'm getting any more cars. I contacted Sayat again. They said no chance. All cars are for private sale and that's it. So I did ask Skoda Volkswagen but they've not got back to me yet but still very hard to get cars. Saving them to binge watch. What's Laura done with her eye makeup? You used a new palette. Is that nice? I think it's nice. It's a new palette that a subscriber brought over. A Disney villains palette, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be Andre, uh, loads of money signs, that'd be nice. Uh, Paul Cole, thank you very much towards the meal and the picture frame. Wow, thanks very much, Paul. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you very much for that. You've done way too much already, so thank you for that. As I said last time, you booked in, we're bringing you here once, probably two or three times in here. You'll be having your fall, don't worry. It's going to be a special fall as well. So no, thank you very much for that. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, always a yeah, very generous guy. Really appreciate it. I think that's why my dad likes it. It's massive, it's a It's like two of those rices and two of those puddies. You have to take it home. Lunch tomorrow. And dinner. Do I know Paul Cole? Not personally, but I'm looking forward to meeting him. 
we do chat via email and stuff sometimes. Um, just big support of the channel. Looking forward to meeting him when he comes to Tenerife. There you go, get a doggy back. Lunch tomorrow, that. Absolutely gorgeous. Butter chicken. Medium spice. Hold it. Can't beat it now. Slow down for their gubs, good point. No, what normally gives me the hiccups is the um, when I go from hot food to drinking a cold drink. That's not normally what triggers it. Please, Miss Harry, a Merry Christmas. Hi, Mike Gill. Uh, from me and Hillary, hope you're both well, you and Hillary. I will when I see him. I will tell him. Uh, he does watch these lives back as well, so if you've got any comments for him, he does normally read them. I've got to do three falls, yeah. It's, it just keeps going up. Three. Probably maybe one on the first night, one in the middle, one on your last night. I'm off to bed. Thanks, Catherine, for staying on. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. Oh, just to mention, uh, we tried your um, Yankee Candle plug-in. Really good. It is good. You should get one. Uh, my sister got me a Yankee Candle plug-in for Christmas. Really good. Hi Becca, one of our biggest fans, how's it going? Big isn't it? I'm going to finish my cheese now and then some of it I'm going to be taking for lunch tomorrow. Lunch or dinner tomorrow? If you can't eat everything in here, you can always get it take, take away as well. He will give you a little free to go box. A lot of the time I can't really keep the Christmas presents because my sister wants to see me open it and I have to know what's inside it for sort of flying home with and stuff. I love that cheese now. Love it. So how many of you, I'd like to know, would dare to try the fall in here? How many would dare to try it? You tried one spoon and chicken now, you did. No, You did. No, no. Good value. Dinner tomorrow now. Yeah, we're up Andrew Fallon's in the darts. Not me, I'll leave the fall, no way. <laughs> Chicken tikka is my favourite 
But everyone's looking forward to Jude's first Christmas they are. I would give it a go. Yeah, often have a vindaloo. Give it a go, Mark. Paul Cole, you've got no choice. And yours is going to be the hottest out of everyone's. And with Laura, one spoon is enough. Love that. Absolutely loved it. I don't know if you've touched it. Yeah, I've had a lot. This is a lot. I'm getting full as well, but I'm going to finish this cheese now. Then the rest is coming home. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me eating it tomorrow. I used to love the core of the sun chili. That is a, that's, so that's the name of a chili, the core of the sun. Oh my word. So good, love it, absolutely love it. If you follow me on Instagram as well, you'd have seen that we had one of these take away the night we got back to Tenerife. That's how much we were craving it. As soon as we got home, got the, got the animals back and all that. Didn't even unpack, straight away, Tandoori Hut take away. Yeah. I think I'm done for now. The best is coming home. So if you like a big meal, get a biryani. That's why my dad loves it, it's massive. Yeah. Hi David, thank you very much. Been watching since six. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, me and my wife, Marion, love your live vlogs. Hoping to come out next year. Get yourself up, David. Uh, but thank you very much, you and Marion, watching us all the way. Been a long one, but I've enjoyed it. We've done three hours. Oh my God, is Paul Cole actually Mick Garvey in disguise? My dad's not that technical <laughs> to swap accounts. No. <laughs> no, Paul Cole, I email him, I've spoken to Paul Paul Cole on the phone. Um so no. Paul Cole is a nice guy. Thought it was a personality. Knackered up for work in the morning, we've got a busy day. Lisa's not in, it's me and you. You have to be doing all the wrong work. How many parts did you clean yesterday morning? I was busy in the office. It was, uh, me, me and Lisa just swapped some days. Lisa will be in the office, I'll clean. Or if Lisa wants to clean, we'll just swap around, you know? Lisa was uh, having a nice long weekend away. Um, so it's, it's Laura tomorrow. I hate working for Hates working for me. Why? Because I hate working for everyone. I am a really good boss. Why? Don't say that. I don't say it like that. I'll just show you this as well. Just notice this. You've got the Traveller's Choice Award on TripAdvisor. And you've also got uh, recommended uh, restaurants on uh, Restaurant Guru as well. So, it's not just me that thinks it's good. Like, I mean, that's about four of those. That's about four of those voices. That's just four of those. It's actually good. I know, she loved it. That's dinner tomorrow. Yeah, no, that's really nice. 
I am. Now I'm saving half of it. It's going home. If you follow my Instagram, you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it tomorrow. No, I loved it. It was amazing. Yeah, that was weird. That was Cheese naan, well worth it. Yeah. No, it's spot on. Yeah. Yeah. I tried it. Nice. And that's loved the map, yeah? New Zealand. It's New Zealand. So Spot on. Yeah. No, I always save half to take home, Harry. I'm going to save a little bit of that rice as well. Oh, did you finish when you tell me when no, you I'm all done. All done. Should I put that on here or I'll put that there? There you go. Oh, it won't be wasted, Harry. Spot on. Yeah, those two. Perfect. And then Laura's as well. With the, do you want the sauce on yeah. it or next to it? Next to it. Thanks, Harry. No, spot on. Spot on as always. Yeah, let's see what we've got going on. Uh, Tandoori Hut was not open when I was there about two and a half years ago. No, it's fairly new. Uh, they've got one in Los Cristianos as well. Uh, Laura wants to be a lady of leisure. She does, but cars to be cleaned, you know. Laura cleans cars. She does indeed. Do a good job, don't you? I do the right job. A bit lazy. You've been trained by the best, so. I'm a bit lazy, so. I'm gonna say good night now. Thank you very much, Jane. Um, good night to everyone as well. Thank you very much. I enjoyed the last three hours. Been, been on for a while, but enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Jane. Now for the party. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on. Yeah, not much else going on here yet. So do let me know as well if any of you are new to the channel. Let me know. You okay? Yeah? Thank you very much. Yeah. You having a good time? Yeah. Right. The little news update thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 The news at home is quite dramatic. Any other plans while you're over? Right. Just doing what you want to do. Bit of you time. Where are you going on Christmas Day, do you know? Not planned it yet. We don't know what to do yet. I don't know where to go yet, we'll see. Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we love it. We're getting the rest of ours to go as well. What have you gone for? What have you gone for? Well, I went from Vidaloo first time. No. The dress, no what? No. Yeah, the dress is nice. Yeah. You too, enjoy, thank you. Lovely guy, always come and say hello if you see us, no problem at all, come and say hello. Even if you don't want to be on camera, we can not put you on camera and stuff. It's lovely to meet you all. Um, should we be out on Christmas Day? Uh, but the last, normally we do, but we don't normally have a Christmas dinner. Um, Mum and Dad are back out in February, Paul. They have a cheese naan, try it. The cheese naan, Mrs. H. Laura would love it if you could have it, wouldn't you? Yeah, it smells amazing. Try a cheese naan. 
It's good. Well worth it. Bye. See you later. Lovely guy there came in for his takeaway. Oh, you ready for bed? <laughs> I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. I've loved that though. It was fantastic as always. Really missed curries in Florida. I normally have one every week, so. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please do hit the thumbs up. We're nearly at 900 thumbs up. It really does help the video. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button as well. Go and check out the, the um, news update that I did this afternoon too. And then tomorrow, we're continuing with our trip that we've just done, just been away. So tomorrow is day two. It's our first full day in England. I'd go and visit Mick Garvey at the dentist and everything. Good vlog. Half six tomorrow. You'll enjoy that one. Thanks for the car hire last month. Thank you very much, John. Uh, thanks for supporting us. Much appreciated. Uh, back next March, no problem. We'll look after you again. It's busy in here now. And as soon as the table goes, and it fills in. Yeah? Come on the camera if my missus comes in, so you want to say to you. Okay. Hiya, you okay? I'm fine, mate, yep. Nice to see you. And you, mate. Where are you from? Here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, originally, I lived in left this year. Okay. But you live here? Yes, mate. Nice. Unfortunately, yeah. It's not be bad, whereabouts? Just over the road in Parky One. That's nice. Very nice. Not bad. First time in here? First one. Time in... No, but, no, mate. I've been here a few times. Like it? Yeah, it's the best one here, mate. Yeah. There you go, best one we here. We send a lot of people in here because I work in Bob's over the road. Nice. Help it out in Bob's three nights a week. We send quite a few over here. But there's only two places I eat down here, to be honest. Yeah. And that's Mrs. Wong's up the top okay. and in here. On, happy on court, you know, the Chinese at the top. Yeah, never tried it. But you it if to look at it, you won't win it. But it's the best Chinese here. Straight up the alleyway, opposite Gardy Seville. I don't know where you are. Near yeah, where yeah. Bar Roses used to be. Yeah. Next door but one to that. To look at it, you can ask my missus. She said it's the best lemon chicken she's ever had. The rest of the time with this Christiana for in the village. There you go. Put, put that on the list. Pardon? I'm a bit deaf. No, no problem. I'll put it on the list to try. You try it and just tell her the lads from Bad Bob just sent in. Okay, here you go. She's still coming, the kids are playing and all the deliveries up there. I mean, go for it, you want it. Ten euros and you'll be coming out full. We'll give that a whirl. Do you live here then? Yeah, yeah, been here for seven years. Yeah, where? Where do you live? Lost then? Chris. Nice, enjoy it. You look, this is good in here, isn't it? Love it, love it. You can't beat it. Got, we had to take away a few days ago, and now we're back in again. Yeah, it's good, mate. We, Some people say, are you a Chelsea fan or are you a Tottenham fan? I'm a Leicester fan, mate. Leicester, Leicester there you Tigers go. Leicester Tigers fan. Ah, okay, you're not into Leicester, your football? Yeah, Leicester City, more so Leicester Tigers. Leicester Tigers, rugby? Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I'll give the staff here, all the staff, 10 out of 10, mate. Spot on. You can't, you can't go wrong with them. Especially Harry. Oh, you don't count Harry, he's only the washer up, mate. <laughs> he's just here to make the number up. Oh, there you go. Alright. Nice to meet you. Cheers, mate. Thank you you try and Mrs. Wong, I tell you, it's alright, mate. I will die. Called out well. the court. And Bar Rose is shut, you know, because he died. The bloke who kept our roses died. And that's brilliant for tappers. And if you like tappers, go to the Idaway in Christiana. It's up near Fortuna, nowhere in Fortuna, no risk. There's a little alleyway just up the side, up a few steps. There's a little pub called there, the Idaway. And then tappers is. That, that, one, that won't skin you, not either. A little Spanish bar just up the steps. And that's it. It's called the Idaway, that. Oh, and the other one we and the other one we eat is the Bella next to Casey's bar. Yeah, yeah, I've been in there. Yeah, no taste because Casey's bar is just a bit salt. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to chuck our own. We've not been yet. We like we like the Bella very much. Nice. Been in there. I've loved that a couple of times. The Bella and this is our favourite. Love it in here. Good on you anyway, mate. Nice to meet you. And you, my love. Thank you very much.
Uh, nice guy there. Um, missed some of the comments there. Thought Harry was there to save the day. Okay, so we are nearly all done, I think. Um, Mike Gill, this guy's a mine of information. Ah, there you go, you know him. Have a good one. Thanks very much, Lorraine Butler, if you're off. I think we're all done. Sorted. I don't think I could fit in a dessert as amazing as they are. I don't think I could fit one in. But I have really enjoyed that. Uh, love the last three hours. Thank you very much, Teresa. If you've been on for the last three hours or any amount of time, thank you all so much. Please do hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button as well. We need more subscribers. Um, been to Bad Bob's, Dangerfield. Is it? Can I have a, a small piece of cheesecake? I, I'm, I'm like up to here. I've got a little bit left here. And you, Laura? And can we do guess the bill as well? Please, yeah. Thanks, Harry. There you go. Tempted me, and I'll have a slither of cheesecake then. <laughs> me and your dad playing up. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do guess the bill and I'm going to have a little slither of cheesecake as well. Can't help myself. Can't help it. And I've enjoyed uh, this as well as a little bit of a change. It's gone to my head a little bit. Not enough that I can't drive. I've only had half a glass. But I can feel it. You enjoyed it? Yeah. It's a really good bag. Doggy bag. All boxed up nice for tomorrow. Uh, back thanks Harry. You're going to say 78, Moira? 64? As if you need tempting, I know, Paula. As if you never really needed tempting in. I knew Andrew would never miss a dessert, yeah. He tempts me in because I know the cheesecake's good because I've had it before. I'm going to have one of them who a warm mince pie. I don't do mince pies. That's fine, I don't do mince pies. It's got to be warm, it's got to be warm, whack it in the oven on a low temperature for about 10 minutes and it comes out perfect. Send the camera to Laura, sorry. Uh, cheesecake is the best. Chris Bryan says 85, yes, yeah, so okay, really garlic. I can smell that. Yeah. Sixty-two, seventy-three, sixty-seven. Sixty euros. Fifty-two euros. Fifty-four, sixty-seven. Off now, great life. Thanks so much, Shane, for joining us. Thank you very, very much. Hope you have a great uh, week. Forgetting that it's Sunday. It feels all our days are mixed up, aren't they? Yeah, I'm definitely. Don't forget the Chinese on the way home. Christmas Day. I want this from there, and I want that from there, and I want this from that one, and then I'll get home and I'll just pass out and not eat any of it. No, thank you. They got a bit of hand sanitizer. Won't even apologise. I enjoyed that day. Although we'll be getting that up this year, if at all. Merry Christmas, everyone. Says Paul. Hi, everyone. Have a great Christmas. We've got a couple of live streams before, uh, including on Christmas Day as well. If you can join us, Christmas Day, seven o'clock, we will be live. Christmas Day live was great. Wonder, will it be another repeat poll this year? Could be. Nah. Oh yeah, we're asking for uh, Give us some ideas for Christmas. What should we do? Do we go out for dinner? Do we go out for just drinks? Get hammered. Bear in mind, we've got a couple of airport runs. 
It's not like last year. I've got work to do. I'm not doing work. I've got to pick up a car at 11 a.m. On, on Christmas Day. I know that. That's not. Always work to be done. If there was an eighth day, we'd work it. We would. Is Laura okay? She looks knackered. I'm knackered. Been working this morning, working with the cars. Uh, I think I gave four out, two back. 51, 60 with tip. It's a decent guess, David. Bear in, bear in mind, though, this time we did have one of these. So, bear that in mind. Looking very refreshed. Florida's done you well. It has needed it, needed a break, needed to get away. Uh, get away from the business and all of that. Refreshed. I've got fresh ideas. I've put some fresh ideas onto the channel. We're now uploading in 4K. We've got better thumbnails. The ties in with our branding. We're coming up with new merch. Yeah, feeling good. Yeah, we're doing another live probably on Thursday. It's our usual day. And then uh, Christmas Day. The vault on Christmas Day, oh no, no, that would be... I've got work on Boxing Day as well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary, we did. Happy Christmas to you as well. You loved it. And hopefully, we'll be going back again. David next week. That would be nice. Not forgetting Laura looking well. Oh, as always, you look a bit, you're a bit tired now, aren't you? I'm exhausted. Yeah. I had a little cheeky 20 minute nap with the dog and it was a proper cuddle. Like, I had my arms around him and the dog fell asleep and he woke me up and he was like dreaming and twitching. It was a proper cuddle. It was 20 minutes now. Well, Half an hour? Nah. Nailed an hour. Will I be featured on the new merch? You've already got your own merch. I enjoyed that. Think hey, just come back on, record live over three hours. We guess the bill. Um, my advice would be to keep being you and don't over brand and sell it thanks very much AJ all good all good uh, Andrew the staff you took on when in Florida uh, they finished finished it was only temporary and um, there was a chance that they could stay on but yeah I decided against it um, so yeah they're all done they were only contracted for the, the two weeks I was away, or three weeks. Um, so, yeah, all good. Back to me and Laura. Lisa will be back next week. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, Harry. Oh. I'm just going to have a taste, make sure it's okay. <laughs> make sure it's safe. You said you didn't want one. I can't have it, I'm just having a taste of top. Looks so good. Okay, I'm delving into that. Looks so good. You said you weren't having a dessert. That is a proper cheesecake, full of vanilla flavour. Vegas Grill on Christmas Day, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Steak on Christmas. We've done Chinese on Christmas. We did try to do Indian one year, but it was closed, wasn't it? Tried to do Indian. 
Um, I think it was uh, Balti Balti back then. Years ago, yeah. Um, I cooked twice, is it? Or just once for you and once for me? Once for you, once for me, yeah. One year I actually set the oven on fire. On year, he, for his 21st, I said, you can go home for your birthday over Christmas, and it's like, now I'll be home over Christmas. And to be fair, I enjoyed myself, and then on Christmas Day, the other back then, it was a fan assisted, it was a heap of the bottom one. And I didn't realise, and I was making the oats buttons, so I put the, the pan and the flat in it, on the very, very bottom, the heat up, and it was fire. We had to get a new oven after that. But, good oven now. So, uh, we needed to upgrade the oven anyway because it was um, it was old and it wasn't fan assisted or anything. Yeah. So I set me up on fire on Christmas Day one year. You called me up for Brian. I was in England. Let me open up fine on Christmas Day and then I had to go into work as well. I had to go into work on Christmas. I needed to do oh, the maids go in early as well for a Christmas meal. Because oh, I, I worked in the Chinese, I've got the tenants and I was sitting there with that. Was everyone doing a big banquet and I'm sitting there with a steam sea bass in front of me. I could say the open next hour on my own and enjoy myself and get the maids go in. So, I wasn't happy. Not happy at all. Uh, do you love living there? And will you come home one day? P.S. Love Laura's hair. Uh, yeah, at the moment we love living here. Will we be here forever? Probably not. Um, but yeah, I've got no plans to do anything yet. I like to be full loose and fancy free. I don't, don't really make any plans. When we came, it was only meant to be a year or so. Yeah. Still here now. Who knows? Who knows? That was gorgeous. Have a good crimbo and I look forward to seeing you over there in January. Cheers, Kev. I will get back to your email tomorrow as well regarding the car hire. Um, thanks very much for that, Kev. Empire for Christmas would be full already, it'd be fully oh, booked yeah. that. And it's Christmas dinner only. Yeah. If they did my steak and ale pudding, I'd be inclined. It's Christmas, Christmas dinner only. Yeah, so it's not. Not off, not off. That was nice. Too nice. I didn't need that, but it was amazing. Uh, only kidding with your garby. I'll have one if it helps you wear it with pride. <laughs> We'll see, I'm just gonna probably refresh some of the some of the designs. So we're gonna take some of it away and put new stuff in. We're working on a few things. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Nothing imminent. Um, but yeah, mainly just I'm happy with doing my best of thumbnails and that. I'm getting it in 4K. I'm happy with 4K uploads now. That's good. Don't forget to buy that Spanish lottery ticket. I'm on the way to buy it. I'm not doing it. Okay, we've got the guest the bill here now. Yes. Me or you? No, you. I let all them guess. I'm going to guess them to buy. Just before you do that, Andrew. Yeah. Can I just say something? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Personal thank you to all the subscribers, all the customers that come in uh, the last uh, three or four months. Yep. Thank you for your support. Hope you've enjoyed your visit and we look forward to seeing you all again. Merry Christmas for myself and my wife Mandy. Uh, yeah, Mandy, this is Mandy, my wife. That's Mandy, that's Mandy who's normally in the Los Cristianos one. Yeah, thanks to Laura. Not Laura. Thanks to Laura and Andrew uh, for their marketing. Really appreciate that. We wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a safe New Year.
Yeah. Hope so. Thanks for that, Harry. It was amazing. Loved it. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. Absolute star. Make sure you give him a little follow and a like on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. He really appreciates everyone coming in, and everyone who's been in loves it. Um, on my almost every day, someone posts on the fan group that they've been to Tandoori Hut, loved it, or pictures of their Tandoori Hut all the time. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people were wrong. Come on, final guesses. Final guesses. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Harry is lovely. Yeah, Merry Christmas to Harry. He will read all these later as well. So, although I can't tell him them, he goes on and reads. He watches the live afterwards and reads all the comments and everything. So. Uh, do drop your comments because he will read them. So, are you ready? We need a theme tune, don't we? Guess the theme tune. So, 61. There you go. Spot on. 61. Not too bad. Cheaper than everyone thought. No, we're all thinking like 70s, yeah? Uh, Merry Christmas, Harry, you're a star. That is going to wrap it up. We've done 210 minutes. Oh my God, that's so much Thank time. you all very much for watching. You're all amazing. Hit the subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow at half six for an edited vlog. And don't forget, news yeah. update is on the channel uh, already. Got the theme. Blind date. Yeah. Uh, what a top guy Harry is. He's lovely. And the staff are all spot on. Lovely new tables and chairs. I want to give a big thanks to the admins as well. You've had AJ, Kev, uh, Mum and Dad, everyone, all doing a great job. Thank you very much for that. Um, keeping the chat all nice and friendly. Didn't see any trouble at all tonight, so thank you very much for that. Um, Paul Cole as well, thank you. Everyone who donated to the channel, thumbs up, everything. You're all amazing. It's, uh, it's good to be back. Good to be back. Uh, so we will see you soon for more vlogs. But for now, have a great week and uh, see you tomorrow. I'm in the dentist chair tomorrow. You'll see you at half six. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Dry